My mic wasn't set up. Hi, Chip. Can we get some yo's? Hello. I'm live early. Good morning. Guys, who thinks I'm gonna beat the peace lock today? Type one. <laughs> Imagine. Back at it. You know it! Hi, Electra. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Guys, clock in. We're early. You can maybe get some overtime today. Korean. I listen to so much Korean music, and it's not K-pop. It's not. It's Korean soul. It's like the the type of music you'll hear in like a like a K drama OP. That's what I love. Hola, buenos dias. Como esta, wicked? How we all doing? I'm up early. Early in the morning. I'm doing good. It's been a hot minute since we've seen you, though. I'm glad to see you today. And get ready. I'm gonna beat this stupid game today. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, face game on in one minute. One minute. Also, guys, double check to see if you have a Prime sub available. It's hashtag free. Show your pride by subbing with Prime. You get no ads and emotes. Um, new emotes coming soon. Because Twitch hates Americans. They're gonna charge you guys a dollar more. So, now's the time to do it. Life's been hectic, but I have a little bit of free time today. I'm glad you're choosing to spend it with me. And shit! Not just me. But I hope things mill out for you, man. Wait, wicked! It's been crazy for me, too. I went to the ER last week. <laughs> I feel I'm fine, though. I'm on medicine now. I like face came on early. I have. Oh, wait, okay. I have my own music playing because. I kind of, because we have to level for like the first hour today, so I need to like veg out a little bit. Okay. Hello, good morning, good afternoon. It might be afternoon for some of you guys, because it is 9.32 a.m. I'm early. Because I woke up early, and it sucks because with my medicine, I have to have breakfast early. So like, whenever I eat, I'm like ready to work. Because usually I would eat at like 10, but now I have to eat at 8, so I'm like, shit. I'll just stream early today. Also, I'm going to see Inside Out tonight. So I'm really excited. Oh my god, I, wait, um, we had Electro, Chip, and Wheel in the starting soon screen. Welcome in, guys. Talking about Inside Out, I watched the first one the other night with, with all the roommates and stuff, and I thought I saw it when it came out. It came out in, shit, like 2017 or some shit? 2017 or one of the two, I don't remember. Wait, maybe it was 2019. I don't know. It's been a while since the first one came out. But apparently, I never saw it because I kind of knew the plot of Inside Out. And I had seen like some like the analysis videos on like YouTube or TikTok and shit. So like, I thought I saw it, but I didn't. I was like, because we we're watching in the living room downstairs. And as we're watching it, I'm like crying, but like quietly crying. I've like mastered qu crying quietly. So like the whole time, I'm like tearing up. 
And then the sequence where like Bing Bong dies, I'm just like bawling, but quietly, I'm bawling. I mean, wait, is that a spoiler? <laughs> it's definitely a movie I didn't expect a sequel to. No, honestly, same. Same. Like, it. Like, I think it's funny because, like, the lore is like, oh, Riley's a teenager now. Like, it's, it seems kind of silly. But, um, yeah, so I'm really excited. I'm so excited to grind the theater. Um, yeah. Oh my god, yesterday I was working on art stuff. I also changed my website a little bit. Guys, bookmark my website, peaceandart.myshopify.com. Blogging is coming soon. And also, if you use code TWITCH10, you get $10 off your purchase. Holy moly. Wait, is it 10%? It's supposed to be $10. That command is wrong. I gotta fix that. Guys, $10 off your purchase, that's like basically free shipping. So guys, bookmark it today. New piece is coming soon. Talking about art, yesterday. I can't show the book because it's from the library now. I don't want to leak my library. Because <laughs> you guys will steal all the good books. But right now, I'm studying about um, stained glass. Or like, it's colloquially called stained glass, apparently. But I read two books yesterday on it. I checked out like five books, so like my books are like that big when they're all stacked. They're like 100 pages each, 100 pages each so they're not that bad. Um, but I'm learning about like how to make stained glass, how to illustrate the designs. I'm not making stained glass because it's very like physically laborious. Like, you can probably look up videos on YouTube and TikTok and stuff, but like, um, it, it uses a lot of your hands, like, you have to have really good finger mobility. You also have to be, like, really fucking strong to, like, work with the pliers. Also, you can maybe get, like, cancer from all the, like, potential lead poisoning, because the way- I- I think? Because I'm trying to figure out how to, um, how to- what you call it? How to, like, actually emulate glass with, like, paper? And I'm- I've been- I was up all night thinking about it. Because, like, glass is obviously transparent. They do have transparent paper. But I'm trying to figure it out. Amon sucked in a way. Thank you, Chip. Did you use your prime? Did you did you show your pride by subbing with prime? <laughs> but thank you, Chip. Can we get some whips in chat? Wait, whip? Like. <laughs> but thank you, Chip. I appreciate it. So, like, I'm reading books about stained glass. Like, how to color it and stuff. Like. I'm obviously not gonna make stained glass because, like, it's really expensive. What is really cool is that, like, in the Seattle area, um, in particular Tacoma, um, like, they have the glass museum. So there's a whole bunch of, like, glass shops in Tacoma. So I think at some point I would head over there and, like, take some rough pictures of, like, glass. That way I can, like, see the different colors and textures. Oh my god, that, I can do this! Man, you, you read two books and you, you read two books and you think you know everything. So... I'm gonna be working on- I'm hoping to launch glass piece inspired art. 2D art, like paper art. Hopefully in July or August, because it's gonna take a while to like, figure out the medium that I have to use, like materials. I I'm so excited, but by the end of June I'm hoping to have like 4x4 paintings done. That's my goal. So yeah, I'm really excited. I think, <laughs> whenever I'm done reading my books, I think I'm gonna do like a stream where I do like a- like a, a deep dive of stained glass, like just like a little fun PowerPoint stream. I think that'd be funny. And we could like edit that and put that on the art channel. Anyway, so that's what I was, that's what I was working on yesterday. I was nerding out, taking notes, drawing sketches and stuff. Okay. Enough yapping. I feel like the color's off on my camera, but it's fine. Oh, it's because it's earlier. Like, I'm like, why do I seem so dark today? It's because there's like literally less sunlight in my room. Okay, guys, you know the flippin' drill. Stop the music. Say hi, YouTube. It is once again time for the Peace Lock. It is day 19 of the Peace Lock 2024. Last time we were leveling for the 8th gym. We have to get to level 46 for my electric Pokemon for the water gym. So that is what we're gonna do today. And also, hopefully, beat the 8th gym, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then maybe getting a little peek at the Elite Four. No, I do know what the Elite Four 
is that there's four challengers and there's like usually one seeker one. I don't know what the seeker guy is, but all I know for the elite four is that I have to be at least level 58. So we'll see how far we can get today. We got 111 hours on the clock. Maybe we'll beat this today, surely. Clueless. Okay. Let's jump into it. Also, I have my own music going today. That doesn't mean I won't yap. I'll still yip yap and stuff today. My god. 111 hours. Also, if you subscribe, you can release my Pokemon. Okay. Man, it's been so long since we've played Pokemon. It's been two weeks, guys. Oops, I subbed. It doesn't count, Chip. Unless there's the alert. Because it doesn't affect the goal. It's also... It's only for... New subscriptions, and then gifted subs, I think. So guys, um, gift right now. Okay, 86 hours! I can't! Wait, where am I? I'm in Sutopolis. I think I healed. I should've healed, I'm not dumb. Let's see, Magnus and Manny are level 40, so we need to level up 6 levels. Yeah, it'll take about an hour or two. Guys, get comfy. Um. Yeah, Magikarp and Ralph are high enough level. So. Yeah, we should just be able to go to the gym with Magnus, Manny, Magikarp, and Ralph. And then we'll give Linus the XP share. That way he can level up a little bit at the gym. <clears throat> I feel you should have done sub to revive my Pokemon. No. No. You know, we're farming. I need that bag. If we want more art, I need a bag. Gifting slub slash J. Yeah, I'm broke too. <laughs> I think it's so funny. You know how people can, like, make custom text by, like, just changing the code or how they type their message? I've never gotten baited with that. But if somebody wants to try, go for it. Okay, we're back underwater. Be funny if I had a snorkel. My sister went to Hawaii last fall. And she didn't go snorkeling, but she still brought her little... Her little snorkel mask, cause she- No, I hate this guy! Grr, chin chow! Okay, I gotta remember my strats. Whenever we see chin chow, we switch... To Ralph. Anyway, so she brought her little snorkel mask, and it's like one she had since she was 10. And she's like 20-something. So, it, the snorkel only goes to like here on her face. <laughs> Cause she was gonna put it in her suitcase. I'm like, hey, why are you bringing that shit? And she's like, well, I need a snorkel mask. I'm like, put that on. And she puts it on, and it's like squeezing her head so much. It was the funniest shit. Anyway, she left it at home. Pro strat, when you're going traveling somewhere, bring an extra suitcase and just tuck the suitcase inside your bigger suitcase. That way when you go to said place, you only pay for one check-in, but then when you go home, you pay for two! Hey, it's this guy, Relicant! A renegade! Um, level 40 and level 34, Magnus does have a berry. Thundershock. He's gonna die, watch this. <laughs> you miss, take the L. Oh, I, I realize I don't even have my music playing. For anybody curious, I'm listening to... Um... Her name's in Korean. Wait, I need to go to the artist. Hayo... Hayo... Hayo, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Hayo song. Because I've been listening to a lot of him, but then because of that, my YouTube recommended is just shoving me, like, shoving me. Like, just shoveling more, like, K Soul music. Am 
right now I'm still learning Spanish, but I think in terms of order of languages. Oh, it's a level 34 clan crew. <laughs> I have no fear, peace in this here. I want to learn Japanese, and then Korean, and then Chinese. Japanese because I want to like go to Japan. That's like the dream. That's like the first place I want to travel to. Another renegade. I'm switching because I can't kill a relicant yet. Anyway, I want to learn Japanese second because I want to have like a basic understanding whenever I do travel. Korean because I consume a lot of Korean media. I used to like be obsessed with K dramas. I watched so many K dramas when I was younger because like that's what my grandma and my mom watched. And then I had like a resurgence like two years ago. Let's go to level 41! Let's go! And then like I feel like most people should learn Chinese because it's just like so common. Granted, because the population's high, but... From what I've heard, like, Chinese is, like, one of the easier to learn. Or maybe they're lying. I have no interest in, like, learning European languages. I don't know why. It could be because, like, Asian is my homeland. I'm fourth generation, but I still say that. But I'm learning Spanish on Duolingo, and I've been learning for about, not, oh my god, nine months. I started in October, and I've only missed two days. Wait, I forgot to start my live split. Fuck! Um. <laughs> Shit, I did it again. Um. Why did nobody say shit? God damn it. My channel. Man, I gotta go back in the void. Oh wait, oh! 12.19! About seven minutes, about seven minutes. Okay, cool. There we go. I fixed it. Let's just reset the run. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine! No, 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 no. But, like, when people actually speedrun, if they're recording the footage, they can just, like, add a live split in post. Like, it's fine. Level 41! Thank you, Chip. I'll hold you to it. Manny needs to learn a new move. Manny is so, like, so stupid. Look at him. He doesn't- he has, like, no moves! He has Spark, Quick Attack, Howl, and Bite. Okay, wait, Bite is kinda sick. Manny needs to learn, like, Zeus Thunderbolt. Also, my Linus has an item. Also, what do you guys think about earlier streams? I'm not saying it's gonna become common, but uh, as long as I'm on the medicine, like, I hate waiting till 10 to start. <clears throat> but usually for the most part, like, no matter what time I stream, I usually got a few chatters, so. Thundershock. Die. But don't be looking forward to evening streams. Those ain't happening. Ain't no way. You know, I'm an EU-friendly stream, not a... <laughs> I'm not American-friendly! <laughs> I don't start till 4. Slay. Oh, is anybody on summer vacation now? Like, if you're in college or school? Ooh, should I leak what we're doing for June? I've already said this. But I will formally leak on the Peace in 17 channel. One of, like... Okay, obviously Peace Lock is a longer arc on this channel at this point. 
but <laughs> one of my goals for the summer, because Cool Math Games has um, successfully emulated all of the Papa's like pizzeria esque games, my goal for the summer is to beat every single Papa's game. So to beat one single Papa's game, it takes about ten hours, and I think there's like uh, nine games. So that means 90 hours? Wait, that's like another fucking peace lock. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so... <laughs> Wait, that's like actually another peace lock. So my goal for the summer, I think we'll start it tomorrow, is to do defeat, to beat every single Papa's game. I know I've already done Papa's Pizzeria on stream. I think it was two years ago at this point, but I didn't get very far. I only played for like two hours. Because when I was younger, I never ended up beating any of the Papa's games because I didn't have an account. So like the only way to save my save is if I bookmarked the page and if you had like cookies enabled. But anytime my dad would like clear the cookies on our computer, um... It would always- I would lose my save. But now, Cool Math Games, you can make an account, and it- it should allegedly save your game. Which is a W. Papa's gym badges? Yeah, I thought about it. Like, I thought about making little pins. Maybe I could get, like, a little uniform? Wait, that actually would be really cute. Because I think I have, like, a black apron, like, making little paper pins. Wait, that's actually cute. I love that idea. Oh my god, I'm gonna die! Who got scared? I think I also have a visor. We can either do- Wait, you can't really see my shirt. I think what we'll do... Is I have a little visor. I think I can make like little paper pins for a visor. And every game we beat, we add it to our visor. We'll do that. And by we, I mean me. And you know what? I'll have ample time to make the little pins. Because if if one game takes 10 hours, that's probably like... Yeah, it's probably two streams per game. Two or three streams per game. Yeah, that's, it'll take all month. Or, so, sorry, all summer. Uh oh. Thank God. I cannot wait for the Elite Four. I'm still kind of scared, but I want this to be over. I know I can do it. Wait, also, Chip, if you're still in chat, are you still considering making edits? If so, Pog. If not, that's it. I'm just curious. I know Max said they might, but they're leaning towards no. <laughs> not at the moment? Okay. I just wanted to check. I know I myself, I've considered making fan edits of people, but that was before I started streaming. Looking back, I wish I would have because I feel like if I would have started editing, like just other people's shit for fun, I would have like more XP and I might be better at editing now. And like, <laughs> by edits, they weren't gonna be like fan cams. But like fan cam esque. Like fan cams without the filters.
Give me a Blaziken! Imagine. I want to make fan art, but I want to get an iPad suit. I remember you talked about that before. If you have like a PC or something, there's a there's a good handful of like free digital drawing programs you can have. Like I've tried drawing on an iPad, but it's it's like it doesn't hit. Like I don't have it here, but I have a Wacom. You know, Wacomole, and I like it a lot. Oh, you're gonna edit your photography on the tablet. Oh, okay. I'm trying to get my sister into photography because she's artsy but she doesn't like see the value behind it in the sense of she doesn't see it as profitable so why should she like try but I think out of all the arts I think photography is one of the easier to get into because you don't necessarily like have to know <clears throat> like art skills to do it you just have to have a basic understanding of like more design principles like composition and I, I think with photography like knowing how to use the actual camera is huge I've done a little bit of photography but like not too much it's not like where I thrive I guess is the best way to say it but I'm trying to get her into it You went to college for photography? Wait, that's so cool. What type of degree did you get? Is it just like a bachelor's? Associates, oh, okay. I thought you put ass in the chat room and I got very mad for a second. What the fuck? I have Volt Absorb! Dude, I hate Chinchow. And Chinchillas. Fuck this. So annoying. I love Pokemon. It's so much fun. At least Linus is picking up more items. Also, guys, we are 30 minutes in the stream, so if we need her, smash that follow button. You get cool emotes and... You get to type in chat. If you're already following, make sure notifications are turned on as well, because only half of you guys have those fuckers turned on. I mean, notice turned on, sorry. <laughs> I know I, li I went live early. So if you didn't have notice on, you wouldn't know that I'm here. Okay, you guys want to hear, like, a story? I was debating if I wanted to tell this story on stream. But you know what? Let's be honest. Not many of you folks, like, sit through the whole Peace Lock stream. <laughs> so... <laughs> Not many people will hear this story, ultimately. But... This happened a bit ago. And by that, I mean, like, a week. So... I was at the bus station, so it's got like five different bus queues in it. I'm waiting for my bus. I'm only at this, the the transit center for like two minutes max, because like the bus I was gonna take, like the I only had a two minute wait to get to my second bus. So I'm waiting. I have my mask on, headphones on, you know, coat, pants. Like I wear a mask to like obviously protect myself and then also like to make myself look less approachable like I don't like when people talk to me like if somebody makes eye contact I smile you know, I, that's typically the most I'll do so I'm waiting at the stop and this guy we make eye contact he's on the phone he's we make eye contact I smile and then he waves at me and then I wave back because I'm like okay whatever and this guy he looks like he's like 35 to 40 like he's older Okay, keep this in mind. 
so my boss comes, I get on the bus, and the bus, like, waits at the station for a few minutes because it's early. Like, by coincidence. So the bus driver, like, waits in the lot for, like, three minutes. And then as the bus is about to leave, the guy who waved hi at me gets on the bus. And this is another key detail. I noticed this guy as he was walking, he was walking on his toes. Which, if you know, you know, it's like one of those signs of, like, ASD. You know, having a silly little walk. Quirky little walk is, like, common. So, this guy, he sits in the seat behind me. I think nothing of it. The bus starts going. I only have two stops, because I'm only going, like, a mile. So, it's only two stops I need to go. The guy, he starts tapping my shoulder. He's like, hey, hey, and I'm not even kidding. He had a voice like, hey, like, like the, the, the typical, like, oh, I'm, I'm so nervous. Like he had that type of voice. I'm not even kidding. So he keeps tapping my shoulder. I turn around. He has his hand out. He's like, hey, I, I'm so-and-so. I don't remember his name. I think I remember his name, but I don't want to leak. He's like, hey, I'm so-and-so. And I, I turn around, I give him the, like, the meanest stink eye I can. And I'm like, no. Right? I face back forward. Bozo keeps tapping my shoulder. He's sitting behind me, keeps tapping my motherfucking shoulder. I don't say anything. Because... In my head, I'm like, okay, this guy is, like, either, like, being weird, or, like, he just doesn't understand social cues. Because he's, he's a toad walk. Um, so he keeps tapping my shoulder, and I turn around again, I give him another stink eye, and he's like, I like your nails, and I have, like, my rainbow nails. And I just think in my head, I'm like, ew, why is he talking to me, right? At this point, he keeps tapping my motherfucking shoulder. Keep in mind, this is like a two-minute bus ride I'm taking. So the, basically the whole two minutes, he's tapping my shoulder. At this point, I start, I lean forward in my seat. So that way he can't reach me. And I know there are ways that I can react. But, like, if I was in public, like, if this bozo was, a, like, approaching me at the station, I would have yelled. Because there's, like, security guards. But, like, on the bus, it's a confined space. You also, like, you can't escape a confined space. Like, the doors are locked when the bus is moving. And... I can't get up from my seat, because, like, if I stand up when the bus is moving, I would literally, like, fall over. Like, my my vertigo is that bad. So, like, I can't move! Uh, anyway. My stop comes up, I pull the I pull the lever. And as I'm getting off the bus, because, obviously, if you're being harassed in any type of situation and there's somebody who can help you, you tell somebody. So, as I'm getting off the bus, I go to the driver and I tell him what happened. And he's like, okay, sorry that happened. He's like, I'll talk to him. And I'm like, thank you, sir. Because it's like, I don't know. Like, maybe the guy was, like, bugging me because I, like, waved hi at him at the station. But it's like, bro, dude, I'm 25. You look like you're fucking 40. Why the hell are you talking to me? Because I, I know I look younger than I do. But, like, Jesus Christ. I don't know. It, it, it gave me an ick. And, like... That was the first time I've ever been, like, bothered. What the hell? What the fuck? I didn't know I had confused, right? God, end me. Anyway, so that's, like, the first time I would, like, I've ever been, like, bothered in public. Like, it would have been fine if he tried to, like, get my attention, like, say hi, but, like, the motherfucker kept, like, touching me. It's like, what the hell? Men will take any act of kindness as some kind of greater sign of affection. I know. And, like, I feel bad. Like, I felt really bad thinking about it. Because, like, I understand that, like, for a lot of women and AFAB people, it's, like, very common to be, like, approached by men, like, unnecessarily. And, like, I've never really experienced that. And I don't know if it's, like, because I'm not cute enough or... I don't dress a certain way, but I don't understand how, you know, society, we're at a point where, like, 
women have women's voices are so much more showcased like you would like to think that most anybody would know how to act towards a different human or towards other people but man because like i've been catcalled before i've had randos ask for my number but like nobody's like ever fucking touched me and it's just like ew. Like, I still feel safe on the bus. You know, I've been riding the bus for years. Obviously, this is one individual, but... Man. Like, when he said, oh, I like your nails, it made me, like, hate my nails. I was like... That's the one thing he pointed out, and now it feels gross. Like, when I got home, I almost took it off. I was like, I hate this now. And, like, they're my cute little rainbow nails. But I was like, no. You know, you can't let one negative interaction ruin things for you. Obviously, this is different because, like, I wasn't, like, assaulted, but... I don't know, I just wish, like, everybody <laughs> could cough men had basic respect. Like, I don't... I don't get how, like, people don't get it. Anyway, so that happened last week. <laughs> I'm not telling the story ever again. And thankfully, the guy didn't, like, fucking follow me off the bus. I would have, like, screamed. I, I think I've told the story, but like, there was one time where like, I actually, I was the creep on the bus. I posted a TikTok about this ages ago, but there was this girl, she looked my age, okay? She looked my age. So like, maybe early 20s. And she had like this really cute, like, goth fit. And like, I was looking at, like, I was glancing at her from across the bus. I'm like, man, that fit is so cool. So, like, as... Because she had a seat that was, like, near the exit of the bus. So, as I'm getting off the bus, I'm like, Hey, your outfit is really cool. Like, that earring is cool. And she's like, Oh, thank you! And... Like, when the bus stops, she also gets up. <laughs> she also gets off and exits the bus. And... At this point, I'm like, I'm, like, speed walking. Because I'm trying to get where I need to go. And then she also is going the same way I'm going. She's crossing the same street I'm crossing. And I felt so bad. Like, I was like, I really hope she doesn't think I'm following her, but. Yeah, that was the one time I accidentally was the creep. It shouldn't take living with a woman to understand it. Exactly. I think if you or somebody you know is an individual who doesn't understand the struggle of a certain group of people, whether it be women, POC, disabled people, any other marginalized group, just talk to somebody. But like, make sure it's somebody who's like willing to share respectfully. Or, like, maybe read a few Reddit threads about people's stories. The, the one thing I kind of do like about those cliche, like, Reddit swipe-through posts on TikTok is it'll be like, oh, what's something that made you break up with somebody? Or what's a huge red flag? And there's, like, 20 different slides of, like, people's replies. It's really interesting because you, in that brief... Like, little reply that you see, you, you get to learn so many different stories. Hear about other people's experiences, and maybe learn something that'll protect yourself, too. Okay, I'm still only level 41! This is gonna take all day! How am I gonna get to the Elite Four? Ah, I'll do it.
Linus has an item. I gotta grab it from Linus. After this chin chow. Dude, I have Volt Absorb! last thing I'll say about the bus incident is like out of all the places like why would you try to raise somebody on the bus I've told this story before but one of my friends they also like commute and stuff and they were telling me they're like hey there's this girl that I always see on the bus and they're really cute he's like I kind of want to ask her out I'm like bro stop for one second I want you to repeat what you said and, like, genuinely think about it. Like, yeah, she's cute. You see her every day on the bus, the same time, the same stop. You know where she gets off on the bus. I was like, I want you to think of it from her perspective. And he's like, oh, yeah. That'd be weird. I'm like, yeah, that would be really fucking weird. <laughs> I think ultimately, like, don't be trying to- oh, I'm not in the water yet. Don't be trying to pick up people in, like, normal places. Like, don't be risen people in the grocery store, on the bus, at work. Because those are places where individuals should, like, feel safe. Like, it's not like I go to work to want to, like, smash people. Like, it's fine if you're at a bar, because, like, that's, like, where you're supposed to go if you want to smash. But for normal places, just don't. Oh, uh, really can't. You don't have to use the menu to use dive? Wait, what the fuck? How do I do it? I mean, what the hell? Sorry, I didn't mean to swear. Magnus, go to level 42! Four more to go. I don't know why I went that way. I had a brain fart. Press A when you're on the dive tiles. Oh, is that why some of the ground is darker? Oh my god. darker. I thought they were just, like, shaded for, like, realism. Oh my god. It's been 111 hours. <laughs> Where's my stress ball? <laughs> Wait, that's, that's gonna save me, like, five extra seconds. You, you saved my speed run. Thank you. Yeah, should I make an ASMR channel? Type 1. That was my nails. One of my bits, because like, for April Fools we do like a, a joke stream every year, right? I was brainstorming ideas with my sister. And she's like, what if you make, like, a slime channel? Like, I pre-film five videos. And then I just drop the channel on April Fools. Like, peace and slime! <laughs> uh, I think that'd be a really funny bit. 
But like, I don't... But, but then the joke is just, I make slime. Like... I don't know if that's a good enough joke. We need to work on it. You know, half of my stream ideas come from my sister. One idea that she keeps fucking pitching to me, that I know will never work. She's like, hey, Peason, um, why don't you make a One Piece tier list? And it makes no sense. Because, like, I don't watch One Piece. I don't know shit about the characters. She's like, um, just, just, like, rate them and how strong you think they are based on their looks. And then I always say, you know, I'm gonna put the woman at the bottom. You know how I am. <laughs> I'm kidding. But every time, she's like, have you done a One Piece stream? What the hell? Oh, I thought it paralyzed me. Sorry. And then she's also like, just do meme react videos. She wants- she watches a lot of, like, Oompaville. She gets a lot of inspo from him. Manicure to level 42! Let's go! Give me a new move. Dang nabbit. And I'm like, yeah, I could do meme reacts once, but, like, making that a series is, like, so bottom of the barrel. And that's a lot coming from me, who has 112 hours in Pokemon. I am out of ideas. My sister and I were theorizing why, like, Japanese culture is so popular in America. And you know what? <laughs> Please, I don't know if I want to say the joke. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> okay, for context, my sister and I are Japanese. Okay, we're fourth generation. Our grandma was not interned during World War II because she was in the Navy at the time. She was lucky. So was my grandpa. But anyway. Like, why in particular is, like, Japanese culture so big? She and I are, like... Maybe we're trying to make up for, like... Uh, the bombings. <laughs> but I, I genuinely don't understand what- I'm, I'm shocked. Like, out of all the, like, foreign cultures, why Japanese culture? I don't understand. To a certain audience, making a One Piece tier list video is good, but not substantial. That's what I'm trying to, like, tell her. Wait, I s I'm pressing A. It's not... Oh, I was pressing A instead of B. I lied. Yeah, thank you, Wheel. I almost called you a liar. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to explain that concept of like not making too niche content to my sister, because my YouTube channel right now is full variety. Like, it's like random streams and then also like gaming videos. So like, I don't want people to subscribe for a One Piece video and then unsubscribe because I never upload One Piece themed videos again. That's why, like, doing variety is very hard to do, because a lot of people on YouTube are used to, like, very niche content. Like, YouTube algorithms very much lean into, like, people's special interests. Like, you watch one video on slime, you're gonna get a hundred videos about slime. That's why, like, for a lot- A lot- This is annoying. A lot of my YouTube video content, like for the main channel, it's not too niche. Like, if I do a video about Mario Kart, it's not like a Mario Kart analysis video. It's a challenge, because like most people will gravitate towards like challenge or theme type videos. That's why like, I'm not planning on uploading a Pokemon video on the main channel for a long time, because um... Oh, wait, I saved, like, three seconds there. Oh, my God. Because Pokemon is so popular, and it's, like, it's still, like, niche content, but there's so much momentum behind it. 
And I don't ever want to be incentivized to like lean into a niche too much. I think, I know I talk about Ludwig all the time, but I think Ludwig does it perfectly. He's full of variety, and he's built his, his audience to a point where like his, his viewers will watch anything he does, which is kind of what I strive for. Like, I want folks who watch me to like, obviously enjoy, enjoy the gameplay, but like, like my commentary more. Okay, I'm not paralyzed. Thank God. <laughs> Die. <laughs> like, the only Pokemon video I would consider uploading on my main channel would be, like, a super cut of the Peace Log. Which... <laughs> a hundred and... This run is probably going to be like 100 and, my guess, 130 hours. That would be, oh God, that'd be a crazy edit. I ain't doing that shit. I think the most common, like, game video that I've uploaded on my YouTube is Mario Kart. But that's because, like, we do Mario Kart semi-regularly on this channel, so, like, it makes sense. I am hoping to launch... Sometime this year, it's looking like fall at this point. But a, a separate channel for gaming, in particular like long form videos, like full playthroughs of any game that I've done on stream. Because what a lot of people fail to realize when they're like, want to stream or when they start streaming, is that not many people watch the stream whenever you end. Because since live stream content is live, people want to interact in the moment. So not a lot of your followers will watch VODs, but if you transform that VOD of a live stream to like a YouTube video, then most anybody can find it, most anybody could probably enjoy it. And I understand that importance. So I'm hoping, depending how successful like the art stuff is, I'll be able to like either invest time or like money into an actual editor to just work on gameplay videos. Am I trying to level up for the Elite Four? No. I'm leveling up my two electric types for the 8th gym. I know I could probably go now, but I, I kind of want to get my Manectrike to a high enough level to where he learns a new move, because right now, Manny just has Spark, and I, I really want Manny to learn Thunderbolt or something. Because I think out of the current Pokemon I have, for my Elite Four, I'm probably going to bring Ralph, Magikarp, maybe Manny, depending on how well his moveset is whenever he's high level, and then... Blaziken, and I need a grass type. I might- Ooh, no, I said I want to bring Mightyena. Because I assume- I don't know what the types are for the Elite Four, so nobody's spoiled. But I assume there's probably going to be a water. Probably a dragon. Maybe a steel type. Manectric will learn to move soon. That is very good. I want him to. He needs to. But since I don't have a higher level grass type, if there is a water type in the Elite Four, I need a decent electric type. Because the majority of the higher level Pokemon that I have have multiple moves that like Blaziken is fire fighting, Magikarp, my Gyarados is, they have a dragon, dark, and water type moveset. So, even if I don't have, like, the proper Pokemon typing, I just want to make sure all the moves that I have in my final team are versatile. <laughs> so, depending on how my Magnemite and Manectric fight, I will bring one of them to my Elite 14, probably. I 
I know Manetra can learn Thunderbolt, because that's what almost killed my Gyarados that one time. Yo! HP Restore! And I do assume, after the 8th gym, I will have a rival battle. And one, one Pokemon that always trips me up is the rival's evolution of Mudkip, so... If I have at least one of my electric Pokemon leveled enough, I'll be fine. I just have to remember, after the 8th gym fight, that I need to have a full level party. Because, like, I've seen a lot of, like, Nuzlocke videos on Pokemon Emerald in particular, but, like, I don't retain the information. I want to go back and like watch my first Peace Lock stream to see how much I guess this would take in terms of time. Imagine I said 50 hours. You know what doesn't take a lot of time though? Subscribing because guys we are an hour in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99 just $5 skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long or You can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free of Prime Click subscribe see if you got a free sub available and if you gift the sub right now you can kill a Pokemon So subscribe but also don't Get boomed Oh, I'm paralyzed. Um... I live. I'll go heal. was different. It's a level 6! <laughs> Why not? Oh my god, yesterday I made chili for myself. And y'all... Making chili from scratch is so good. Don't ever use the pre-bought chili mix. All you- all it is is basically just like chili powder and then other seasonings. But it's so good, oh my god. And instead of using like pre-made tomato sauce, just get crushed tomatoes. You can also add like shredded carrots and squash 
Because it basically will just melt into the chili. It doesn't affect the taste too much. It might just taste like a little bit more green because the carrots. You just gotta season it more. No way! Thank you for that resub, Alex. Like six months? Wait, you should have a new badge now. Can we get some Waluxes in chat? Thank you. I appreciate the continued support, man. Also, you better not fucking gift. I'm gonna be so mad. Wait, you have the Minecraft badge. <laughs> do you like Minecraft? <laughs> Wait, do I have the Minecraft badge? I don't know if I got it or not. Because, like, I know I watched, like, Squigs play Minecraft during the drop event, but I don't know if I got the badges or not. I don't remember. I hate Minecraft, actually, but the badge and emote are cool. See, that's how I felt about it, too. I have- okay. I've never played Minecraft as, as an adult. The only time I played was when I was in 8th grade, and it was a sleepover at my friend's house. And keep in mind, this is before I became a gamer, okay? This is way before. I didn't become a gamer till I was an adult. So, it was me, my friend, and then our other friend. So, I'm focusing. And this friend, she was richy rich. Her dad worked in construction, so they had money. So, we, we get settled into her house, like, we set up our blankets and shit. And she's like, hey, like, you want to play this game? And keep in mind, she has two computer setups, which is, like, unheard of at this point. So, her other friend is playing Minecraft, and she's like, Hey, Peason, do you want to play Minecraft? I'm like, this game looks stupid. No, I don't want to play. And so, <laughs> as my friend and then her friend are playing Minecraft together on separate computers, I'm, like, borrowing her DS and playing Cooking Mama, like, all alone in, all alone in her bedroom. <laughs> Wait, I didn't even play the game, I recall. Yeah, I just, like, said it was stupid and then I walked away. <laughs> Man, imagine the alternate piece that we could have gotten if I agreed to play Minecraft for that one night. I could have been in the SMP. I think the reason why I don't find playing Minecraft too fun is because I'm not too imaginative, which is, like, not common for, like, an artsy person. Because, like, I assumed for the longest time that Minecraft was just building, I definitely think I would have liked, like, the survival mode a bit more. Like, the survival RPG-esque. But the building part just never seemed fun to me. It's because, like, I'm very straightforward. I don't, like... No. Thank you for the gifted sub, Walix. Can we get some W's and chat? Oh no. Oh no. 
No, we're one Pokemon away from killing it. No. No. You could kill my Badette. Fuck you all. Nobody else subscribe. I'm serious. No! Thank you, Electro, for the gifted sub. No! I have to kill a Pokemon! It's been so long since we've had to do this. Fuck you all. But also, thank you for the subs, guys. Thank you. Also, since you guys gifted subs for the first time this month, you should have gotten bonus channel points. Okay, let's go to the stupid Pokemon Center. Think you know what? You know it's actually really funny. Banette is like one of my least favorite Pokemon. So you know what? Take the L suckers. Also, pause. If we have one more person, give the sub or cheer bits. We'll have a hype train. There are new hype train emotes, guys. Okay, where is my Banette? Uh, don't dare star. Bennett. Oh, not Bayonetta! Oh. Well, everyone, peace I27 Bennett. I have no clue. Wait, this was one of the rare Pokemon in the cemetery, right? No, is it? No. Yeah? Honestly, screw chat. Release Bennett? Yeah. You know what, I'll say it. If you give the subs for this release, you hate Bayonetta. We'll cancel you on Twitter. Bye-bye, Bayonetta! Minus one. Well, you know what? I needed to heal anyway, so this is like two trips in one. I'm the official Bayonetta on TikTok? Ain't no way! Does this mean you, like, hate yourself now? Man. Okay, well, minus one. You know what that means? The sub goal resets. To kill my next Pokemon, we need seven subs. Can we do it? Man. I wish I could crouch and pretend I'm sad in game. <laughs> Dude, that was... When we played Super Paper Mario, that was my favorite joke. Just crouching and being like, oh, I'm so sad. Okay, I'm crossing Bayonetta off my list. You know what? This list is becoming chat's hit list. Ain't no way. Stop. Thank you for another gifted Electra. Thank you, hon. But seriously, stop. Okay, my red pen is dead. Okay, thank you for the gifted. Can we get some weathers in chat? Thank you. What's the next Pokemon on the list? Wait, no. The second most recent Pokemon is my Sableye. And you guys know, I named Sableye after my friend. You guys would be evil if you made me kill my friend. In game. Okay, let's go back to leveling. I don't want to encourage you guys. Can somebody do the math and, like, see how many subs it would take to kill my entire Pokemon? Like, arsenal? Let's see, how many Pokemon do I actually have? Oh, I, I've i killed a lot. <laughs> Look at all that red on that paper. <laughs> okay, 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 8, 30, 2, 4, 6, 8, 40, 2, 4, 6, 8, 50, 2, 4, 6, 8, 60, 2, 4. I have 64 Pokemon left. That's a lot. Anyway, back to work. But seriously, guys, thank you for the subs. Thank you. <laughs> I hate Jim Chill. I don't need this right now. You know what I need? Nah, it's not time for a transition. Man, that was a crit and it still only did five. God damn. I wonder how long it would take to get all my Pokemon to level 99. That would be insane. <laughs> That'd probably be what, like another 500 hours? So many stupid chinchows. They're not even worth that much XP. They're so stupid. Oh yeah, Linus has an item. I keep forgetting. Meow day. Stupid. At least the Pokemon Center is close.
It's a level 30 relicant. I can maybe get him. Come on. Oh, come on! Oh, it's baptized! You almost did it, Magnus. Next encounter, Magnus will level up. I think I'll get my Pokemon to level 45. Because the gym ranges from 41 to 46. So probably only the final Pokemon is 46. So the moment Magnus reads 43, it will go. I've stalled long enough. Magnus go to level 43. Hell yeah. When I was fixing my website last night, for some reason I never tested this. Because in order to mail the paintings, like the ones you see back here, they're 12 by 16. So I can't use like flat rate packages. I have to use, um, I'm gonna switch. I have to use like a custom fit box. So... Shipping costs like ten to twenty dollars depending ah! depending on where folks are that I'm shipping out to. So what I didn't realize, because Shopify is kinda is cool, but it's also like kinda dumb. Like, for example, if you're showing selling like something that is fifty pounds and somebody buys two of said thing, obviously you would have to go in two boxes. But Shopify would just charge the customer shipping for only one of the items it's so stupid so if somebody somehow bought two paintings like last night it would have only charged them like ten dollars instead of twenty it would have only charged them for shipping once because like i could mail paintings together but like imagine i ship it and it gets lost like losing one is better than losing both so, like, I had to change all my listings, I had to recode everything to make sure that shipping was charged properly. Because the way that Shopify works is a lot of the UI functions are free, but a good handful of the UI functions that make the website better are, like, premium functions. So it was either, like, I recode everything myself, or I pay 50 bucks a month to have, like, specialty shipping rates. It's so stupid. So, like, I was up till 10 fixing it. There might be a better spot to level than down here. There probably is, but... I like the water. <laughs> uh, the only other place that I could think of that had, like, higher XP Pokemon was the cemetery. But the Pokemon down here have more XP than the cemetery area, surprisingly. Because, like, the only area that I haven't seen is... Victory Road. Or, I think that's what it's called, I don't know. But the section past the waterfall. But I think this area is good because I'm actually leveling up both my Pokemon that I will use for this gym. Because if I went back to the cemetery, the ghost area, I don't think electric would work. Wait, actually, I don't remember. Because, oh wait, fire worked on the ghost type, but not fighting. Maybe electric would work? But, like, ghosts aren't real. The Cave of Origin? Oh, wait! The Cave of Origin, what Pokemon were there? Was it the ghost Pokemon? I think that's where the ghost one were. Okay, Linus has an item. Linus has an item. I gotta talk to Linus. I was going like this, 
when I was talking and I forgot my nails are long. Well, if I go to the Cave of Origin, there's no, like, close Pokemon Center. Yeah, I think that's why I chose the level here. Because at this point, I, I ain't risking it. Anytime a Pokemon is somewhat low, I go heal. You know, we're... 112 hours in. I cannot afford another L. Manny really needs to learn a new move soon. Chin Chow. I think I want to gush a little bit more about stained glass a little bit. Because I checked out one book, or okay, I checked out like four to five books, but the books that I read yesterday were talking about like how to actually work with stained glass. Many people level 43, let's go, two more levels. Give me a new move. Fuck you. So one of the books I read was about like art history about stained glass, and then the second book was about like stained glass techniques, so like how to like actually um, manipulate the glass and stuff. Like, how to cut it and such. But I'm not doing that. So, like, I wasn't as interested in that. But I think the most interesting thing about stained glass was that it has origins in the Middle East. And then it kind of, like, spread its way into Europe in the... Uh, I don't know what century. <laughs> I think it was 14th century. It gained prominence in Europe. And then you'll probably commonly see it in, like, churches. And it's really interesting because I think it was 15th or 16th century. A lot of churches started removing the stained glass from the church because for some reason it was seen as sacrilegious and like the work of the devil, which is crazy. Okay, keep in mind, this is all like just what I'm remembering. If facts are wrong, oh well. Facts, not feelings. So, a lot of the history that the book focused on was the Victorian era, so like from the 1700s to current day. I think the most interesting trend that I learned about was in the 1800s in like in terms of like European craft and stained glass, there was this huge movement of going back to like traditional glass making because in the 1800s along with the 1900s there was the huge influx of industrialization like across the whole world, right? Machines were replacing humans and made procedures faster and safer for the most part. But then it lost a lot of the human element to art. So there was this huge movement in the night, no, sorry, 1850s called the arts and craft movement in the, a lot of European areas where a lot of artists were transitioning back to like traditional ways of glass making because in like olden times, the way that glass sheets were made was either um, they would blow glass, so like they'd put a glob at the end of a, a metal tube and they'd blow into it, and then they would like snip the tip, that way when it laid flat, it would create like a disc, or they would blow glass into a cylinder and then cut the ends and then cut it down the center, so that way when it laid flat, it's like a sheet, like you would cut dough. And then in order to color glass, you need to add like different um, oxides, like different metals to like change the color, different types of um, metal oxides will change the color. Um, so that is how they did it up until, like, the 1700s to 1800s, when more, like, commercial machines were used to make glass. So currently, a lot of places will use, like, rollers, so they'll put, like, molten glass between metal rollers to flatten it out with machine, and then they'll add metal oxides before it cools. 
So in like the 1850s, a lot of artists were like, it's cringe and bad if you use like machine made glass. So a lot of them like went back to um, more traditional methods of blowing glass to make sheets. And then also like a lot of um, older shops got revitalized in the in Europe. I, I don't remember which country it was, but in, during that time period, like a couple hundred of shops were like either established or reopened. And the reason why it was called the arts and craft movement, which is like kind of also prevalent today, like if you see like the influx of like people opening their Etsy shops, people pushing for. Wait, no! <laughs> oh my god, I forgot! This is Chin Chow! I'm too busy yapping. Like, you'll see the prevalence of, like, Etsy shops, a lot of homemade dresses and stuff being promoted because everybody hates fast fashion now. So, like, the trend is also, like, kind of resurging in current art trends or art styles now. Um, but it was, I took, wait, I took a picture of the quote of this one artist from that time period. I want to read it. I thought it was really cool because it, it kind of is, like, a similar mentality that I have. Let's see. The influential writer and critic John Ruskin, past 1900, argued similarly that it was impossible for people to find fulfillment in industrial work. In the book Stones of Venice in 1853, Ruskin wrote that men were not intended to work with the accuracy of tools, to be precise and perfect in all their actions. If you'll have that precision out of them, you must unhumanize them. Like, that quote is so cool, because, like, it's talking about how obviously oh i'm confused fuck <laughs> oh wait i'm confused but also giving confusion cool it's talking about how like industrialization is like killing people's desire and also consumers desire to appreciate like the imperfections of like handmade work and I thought it was really cool because I kind of have a similar mindset. That's why, like, I don't do any computer prints. Like, any paintings that people buy will be hand-painted by me. Because I think it's cool to see little impurities. Like, either a missed brush stroke or, like, maybe the color matching isn't perfect, perfect. But it was so cool. Like, I resonated so much with that particular art movement. I was like, damn, this is, like... I guess you could say, like, kind of hipster, but it's still really cool. Like, I bet they would be shitting bricks if they saw, like, all the shitty art that they see now. I, I talked about this early at the start of stream when I was yapping a bit about the stuff that I learned. But I think I want to do a stream where, like, I just make, like, a little PowerPoint presentation and just do a presentation on stained glass. Like, it's so cool. The history behind it, the technique. I don't think I would ever try it myself because it's very expensive and physically laborious to do. But I think like designing, like sketching out designs would be really cool and fun. If I ever get like a sugar mama or sugar daddy, I want them to make glass so then I can like make glass with them. And I think that'd be cute. Just saying. And okay, the last thing I'll say. <laughs> It's really cool because a lot of my, like, art style when I sketch, it's very symmetrical, very geometric. And it's very reminiscent of, like, Egyptian stained glass art. Look it up. It's very similar to what I do, like, when I'm sketching out abstract pattern work. It's wild. I had no idea. And I'm trying to think as to why my style emulates that. And I think it's because, for some reason, when I was little, my mom was obsessed with, like, Egypt and Egyptians. Like, she would teach us all the time about hieroglyphs. She had a few, like, Egyptian-style pieces, like, in the home. Like, just cheapy kind. And I was like, damn, that's, like, weird to think that I might have been influenced by this unknowingly. In my current style. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk more about glass later, probably. <laughs> But that's mostly what I remember off the top of my head. I took a lot of notes. Because when I was in school, like high school or college, I learned a bit about art history, but I never learned about like a particular medium or era. Like we just learned about like art history in its entirety, like just like a basic crash course. But I think from this point on, whenever I want to try a new medium or a style, I have to read the history on it. Like just reading those two books about 
the stained glass was like so interesting to me. I think it's because it gave so much detail about the one thing. It made it so much easier to absorb. Hi, Drew. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Welcome in, man. You know who else can get some yo's? The people who follow the channel. Because you know what? We're 30 minutes in the stream. So if you never smack that follow button. And if you're already following, make sure notifications are turned on. Because only 50% of you guys do. We need to get our numbers up, guys. I keep on thinking in my head, oh, the last thing I'll say about glasses. <laughs> Man, I can't, I can't wait to read my other books on it. I'm, like, genuinely so excited. Because whenever I work on anything, I tell myself that I cannot do anything for, oh, anything of one single thing for more than, like, four hours in one sitting. Because if I do anything for that, for longer than four hours, I don't retain the information, like, when I was younger, too, like, if I read a book, like, a, a chapter book, and I read the whole thing in a day, I would forget it all the next day. It's kind of like info overload. So, like, I read my two books in the morning, and I, I really wanted to read my other ones in the evening, but I was like, no. I must demonstrate self-control and not read them. Because I think the kind of schedule I want to do is not have a set day in which I work on art stuff. I think... Like, every other day doing a little bit. That way, like, I don't get bored of it every day. And then I still have, like, that little bit of, like, anticipation and excitement to, like, want to do it. Okay, uh, Magnus will not kill, but, you know, we'll try. Yep. Take down is scary. Yep. Easy. But I think what I'll start doing is on the days that I don't stream, I'll work on art. Like research, sketch, or like actually making. It's kind of a similar concept to, like, if I streamed every day, I'd probably hate it. Because then it would become a job, right? And I don't ever want to hate something that I have, like, a passion for. Now, before I make this joke, I did score 105 on my rants test, <laughs> but, like, after I read the first book, because, like, I cranked that shit out in, like, two hours. Uh, that's probably the wrong verb. But I closed the book, and I was thinking to myself, I was like, oh, no, special interest unlocked. <laughs> but I'm allowed to make that joke, because I did score high on my rants test. I was telling my sister about it when she got home last night, and she's like, oh no. She's like, just please don't start buying glass. I'm like, no, I will not buy the glass. Because, uh, with most, like, physical artwork, it's very hard to sell. Because not a lot of consumers want to buy art. Because I I'm not sure, like, the main reason why. It's obviously a number of factors. Like, art is so much more accessible now, like... Getting prints made, getting stickers is relatively cheap. So, like, for a consumer and also a creative, it's relatively cheap to produce and sell or buy. But, like, a lot of fine arts, the normal consumer will probably have no interest in purchasing. Like, a lot of blown glass, 
for like stained glass shops they primarily offer like restoration as their primary source of income or supply selling because think about it when was the last time you guys ever saw like a freaking piece of stained glass like not often like you're not seeing that on homes anymore it's kind of like a bygone era I do know that the White House has some stained glass pieces in it, though. For some of the interior. Or that's what it said in the book. The book came out in 95, so maybe it's wrong. Maybe the January 6ers destroyed it. But... <laughs> I would ever buy a stained glass piece. I would be like too scared to break it. Or like it would break, not that I would break it. I think it's also because like I'm not the type of person to hang stuff in my room, like literally. In my room, the only thing that's on the walls is my paintings back here. I have string lights on one of my walls, and then there's some like small wall shelves from the previous tenant, and I just have like fake flowers. I don't have books or anything on them. It's cause like, for some reason, okay this is common, but like shadows really scare me. So like if I'm sleeping and I have all the lights off and I see a shadow from like something in the wall, it freaks me out. Even when I was younger, like, I never hung up posters or anything for that reason. Because even if you hang up something on the wall, it's going to cast a very small shadow. Yeah, we're getting close. Probably like another 40 minutes of leveling. Come on, give me a Suicune! That's like the worst thing I could've got. It's 11.07, almost time to make your wish. <gasps> no! Guys, who thinks I'm going to beat the peace lock today? Tap one. <laughs> Surely. Maybe or you'll at least finish next time. Oh, for sure. I think this will take... Because I can stream until like 5 p.m. today, like if I feel like it. That's why I started earlier, because I want to try and get as much leveling as I can today. Probably maybe one more stream. It, it just depends on like... 
the Elite Four, because I don't know what their Pokemon are. Because Elite Four has Pokemon 46 to 58. So I probably just need to get at least to, like, level 55 for my team. I know there's runs people will do a Pokemon that have, like, no leveling. Like, I've seen videos of people doing runs where they only do the encounters. So, like, trainer battles or gym battles, and they do no leveling. That, to me, is insane. I could never do that. I would be so anxious. Watch this take like 10 more streams. Imagine I reset. Imagine. <laughs> no, I've said this before, but like, if I get to the Elite Four and my team dies, I'm never playing this fucking game again. I'm not even kidding. No, but like, imagine. I would cry. I would cry so much. For any brokies in the Twitch chat, Twitch is offering a free 7-day trial of Twitch Turbo. I saw it on their Twitter. I assume it's still going on. But if you're brokey and you can't afford to subscribe to your favorite channels, but you hate ads, I would recommend getting Twitch Turbo. Because you basically get no ads on any stream you watch. That includes mid and pre-rolls. There's a link if you want more info. I'm not sponsored to say this, imagine. But it's really nice because streamers still get ad revenue if you're a Twitch Turbo sub. So, you know, I'll get like a penny for every ad you watch. I mean, I don't know if it's a penny, that's a guess. I think Turbo costs... I think it costs me 12 bucks. It's kind of expensive, but... Depending on how much, like, live stream content you watch, it's worth it. Because, oh my god, I watch so much stream content, it's so bad. I usually have something on my TV at all times. But I don't know, I just find it comforting. Max, get a fucking phone! Let's go! <gasps> Try attack? Huh? Wait, what's that? Normal. Fires three types of beams at the same time? Wait, that's crazy! Wait, I want to see that! Ooh! Only 10 PP, though. Sonic Boom always does 20 HP. Supersonic emits bizarre sound waves that may confuse. And Supersonic could be kind of crazy. That may confuse. It doesn't do any damage, though. Okay, Supersonic kind of dumb. I'll swap it for a try- or... Yeah, Supersonic kind of dumb. One, two, and poof. Magnus forgot Supersonic and learn try attack. Ooh, I want to try that shit out. Yeah, always make sure any Twitch purchase you make, whether it be gifted sub, bits, Twitch Turbo, regular tier one, Always do it on desktop because whenever you purchase stuff on mobile, they charge you like a dollar service fee every month if you get a tier one. It's so stupid. Always buy stuff on desktop. Grr, Chincho. You know what? I'm not scared of you anymore, Chincho. I have Try Attack. Oh my god! Holy shit! Oh my god! 
<laughs> Wait, that's crazy! I love Magnus. That was so cool! That did fire, lightning, and gem attack? I don't know what the last one is. Maybe- no? Wait, that's so cool! I wanna do it again. Watch this. Fire, electric, and... Maybe, maybe it's water? But it's like gems. Oh, that's so cool. Chin Chao is cute. Yeah, even cuter when it's dead. I'm a Chin Chao hater. Wait, that's actually... Oh, wait, it's a normal move type, though. But it does fire, huh? At least Magnus has a stronger offensive move. That's a different type. That's huge. I'm surprised Magnus don't have a steel move yet. Oh, maybe the gem animation is steel. I'll say a tri attack is the best animation in the game. Now, all we need is Manny to learn a new move. He's slacking a little bit. I'll use try attack just on Chinchos. <laughs> what? It's an ice move? Wait, that's crazy! And it can freeze? That could be like a good opening move then. Wait, this is cool! I thought Magnemite was a sleeper Pokemon. Or maybe he is, but that's just cool. Oh yeah, good thing I kept Sonic Boom. Yo, I'm so happy. Hi, Grace. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Also, goodbye. <laughs> How's the Nuzlocke been? Little bro, look at the timer. <laughs> Hopefully I'll finish it soon. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's been going aight for, like, my first ever Nuzlocke. Surely I'll beat it today. You know what, Graze? I bet whenever you get home, I'll still be live. I bet you 50 cents. Okay. Watch this! Oh, no, I'm not switching. Watch this! What? Okay, it doesn't freeze every time. Noted. I just noticed the time. <laughs> yeah, I swear to God, like 90% of the time I've been playing is just stupid leveling. But you know what? I'd rather be safe than sorry. I cannot afford to reset. Dude, imagine- I don't want to think about having to reset. 
I'd have to fuck up really, really, really bad. I'm still, like, thinking about what berries I should use in the final fight. I think I should give all my Pokemon citrus berries. Oh, it's 11.19! We missed 11.11! Make a late wish, everybody! I always forget. I should set a timer or something. My favorite memory from this run when was when Sad was released and she came back. I know! That was so cute! Did I kill Sad on this run? No, Sad is still alive. Don't worry. Thank you, Gray. Yeah, I have no idea what to expect from the Elite Four. But you know what? I'll persevere. Freeze. Even better. All I know is that the champion is not red, because red is in the other game. And don't ask me what other game I don't know. I'm not a Pokemon fan, I'm a Pokemon hater. I'm just not realizing it's my normal stream time. And I've already been live for two hours. I'm so excited to see Inside Out 2. You guys do not understand. Okay, did anybody like the Disney movie Soul? I personally liked it a lot. It's not like a kid movie, I think. Man, you go to level 44. One more to go and then we're ready for the gym. Hell yeah. Learn to move. Fuck you, Manny. I love the movie Soul. I think it has, it's such like, it tackles like so many adult themes about like identity and worth and passion. I think when I, when it came out, I was like 20 or 22. So like, like right when those themes kind of resonate. Cause like when you're young, you're still like figuring out who you are. But man, I think I've seen Soul twice and I've cried both times. The only thing I don't like about Disney movies is the trope of them having, like, a little companion. Like, it's done in every single movie. Like, we need a Disney character to just, like, figure everything out on their own. They, know, they don't need, like, a guide. They're leaning too much into the hero trope, and it's getting boring. Like, I know friendship, friendship is cool and all, but... I want, like, an introverted Disney character.
So many chinchos. One more chinchow and then we'll go to the gym. I mean, not the gym, but <laughs> the Pokemon Center. It's time for an ad. No transition. If you want to avoid the ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Show your pride by subscribing for free with Prime this month. I think we got maybe 20 to 30 more minutes of this slot. And then we'll go to the gym. So if you don't want to miss it, subscribe. I think I'm gonna have a little snack too. I got my vanilla bar. I'm not gonna eat it all because it hurts my teeth.
Sorry, I didn't talk for a little bit because my tooth hurt. And I got my wisdom tooth coming in on this side. So, like, I gotta be careful when I chew. I cannot wait to get him out. If you don't know the peace and lore, the medication I'm on, I can't get any type of, like, incision. So, like, no surgical procedures. So, like, no wisdom teeth till I'm off the medication. So, like, basically another month of waiting to get my wisdom teeth pulled. Like, it's, like, almost second nature to, like, chew on my right side. But I forget sometimes. Thankfully, like, my wisdom tooth is only, like, slightly grazing my gums. No! no! <laughs> but it's still annoying. You know what? I wouldn't wish tooth pain on my most mortal enemies. Come on, Manny needs some mana. I mean, level up. Oh, Manny's at 44 as well, okay. Imagine. Chin Chow, I wish tooth pain upon. I hate him so much. Also, just a PSA, don't get veneers. Because I think veneers are like just really fancy caps. But more often than not, they like grind down your actual teeth to put the caps on. So, you have to have, like, constant upkeep on your veneers. And they're expensive. And, like, if you ever want to take them out, you're like, since they grind down your teeth, your teeth are fucking gone. Or, like, you have less teeth than you started with. Like, just don't. I know it's trendy, but don't. If you want veneers... Just get, like, really, really, really good vampire teeth. It'll have the same effect. Ran out of songs 
by the initial letters. Ya seo. Ya. Or ha yo song. So I'm, not, I'm gonna listen to Lee Yijun. My favorite song by her is I Decided to Hate You. It's really pretty. Magnus might level up here. <gasps> Ain't no way, man! You should have level 45! Let's fucking go! <laughs> Let's see how far away Manny is. Oh, he's a ways away. <laughs> I, I could probably battle with Manny. Okay, I'll give Manny a bear. We'll battle with Manny until he gets to 45. Hopefully, he'll learn a new move at 45. Magnus still has a citrus berry. They can hold on to it. I'll give Ralph XP share. Because we're going to need to level up Ralph anyway. Okay, now we're going to battle with Manny. The only offensive electric move that they have is Spark. Which will not work on Chincho. <laughs> Yo, fuck this. <laughs> Me and the homies hate Chincho. Confuse Raimi again. You better not. <laughs> Classic Jinja move. Smart. Spark may work. Yup! Both absorb is huge. What what the fuck? Uh...
We should ban Shinshows. I, you know what? I bet that bench leader's gonna have a fucking chin chow. I'm gonna flip my shit. He's gotta. Like, there's so many chin chow right by his helm. Manectra doesn't have Volt Absorb. Okay, I forgot I have Bite. Let's still use it. I forgot. May all be day. Gura Chincho. But it wasn't effective. Bite his flinch, I forgot. Quick attack. Die. Manny's paralyzed. I hate Chin Chow so much. I made this game, I would never create a chin chow. I would never create such an abomination. <laughs> My hand.
Remember when I said I would only need an hour of leveling? I lied. Peace and light, people cried. I think it's because I forget the higher level you are, the more XP you need. Like, I forget that it scales. Gur Chincho. I wonder what happens if we use how. Like, does it just run away? Oh. Raises attack. I- oh. Oh. I was thinking of a different move. Easy. The end is so near. Probably like eight more encounters. Ralph Griddle level 48, let's go! I love Ralph. Ralph is still my goat. I miss Bra, but Ralph is our new goat. It is kind of sad to think if Bra didn't die, Ralph would be dead in this room. Like, not physically dead, but like, I never would use Ralph.
At least I'm not paralyzed, thank god. Maybe one more encounter. The time is nigh. Just like Bill Nye the science guy. A renegade! Yeah, this will, this will pull me over the edge. Watch this. Yes! Man, you're gonna level 45. Now man is gonna you. Give me a new move. Yes! <gasps> Thunder! Yes! Thunder, a lightning attack that may cause paralysis. 120 power, but 70% accuracy. Ooh. Ooh. I don't like that accuracy, but still... I'll take it. We're getting rid of how. One, two, and poof! Manny forgot how, and learn thunder! Man, that's a good note to end on. Let's go to the gym. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. Also, I'll listen to the game now. Finally, after two and a half long hours of leveling, I have my Pokemon ready for the gym. So let's heal up and get our team ready. Manny and Magnus will keep their citrus berries because they are the ones who are going to be battling. So I'm going to choose my backup Pokemon. Oh, a Mighty and it's 47. Okay. See, I need to think about who I'm going to bring. So, for my Elite Four build, I'm for sure going to bring Ralph Magikarp. I might bring Magneton. Electric, normal. If he ever gets a steel move, that could go crazy. So then that means I have three slots left. For sure, bringing Blaziken and Mightyena, I need one more slot to fill. Or I have one more slot to fill. I might choose Graveler or a Grass Pokemon. <laughs> Self-destruct. <laughs> Should we do it? Nah. Graveler might be good at bring, but I'm not sure. Because my other- the final slot Pokemon, I will give an XP share for this gym. Yeah, not so rot.
Because if I have an electric, that means if there's a water gym, then I don't necessarily need a grass type. A poison type could be kind of interesting. Oh, they don't have any poison moves, though. Maybe some viper? They don't have any poison type moves. Poison gas and smog. But it's not guaranteed poison. And I don't I don't think I want to bring a poison type. Or maybe a ghost type could be good actually. Wait. Summary. Shadow Punch, Will O Wisp, Confuse Ray, and Pursuit. A ghost type could be good. But I would only really use the ghost if they had a psychic type, but I already have a fighting type Blaziken. I don't know. I don't have a flying type. Because flying is good against fighting. And so is psychic. Rock is strong against flying. Zubat? Are they poison? Yeah, they are poison flying. They have a ghost, dark flying, and then confuse. I don't know what I want my final type to be! I don't know! I think it might be grass, but I don't know. Poison powder may poison. Acid lowers defense, but it's a poison type offensive move. You know what? Vile Plume might be a good opener. Because they have both moves that can... This one, this, one of, this one is offensive and lowers defense. This one may put them to sleep. May paralyze. May poison. Vile? Or Gloom, not Vile Plume. Oopsie. Blue might be a good opener. Because I'll be honest, I'm pretty confident with just Gardevoir, Gyarados, and Blaziken. So, like, my other three slots are, like, basically throwaways. Like, if we need to sack him, I will. Oh, wait, Mighty is pretty cool, too. Because my Diana has Intimidate. Oh yeah, I need to have... Oh, why'd I, why'd I exit out? It's probably... <sighs> Do you want a tip about a purchasable TM? No. I don't like using TMs. I like... Using what my Pokemon is, like, destined to learn. I'm, like, anti-education. <laughs> but thanks, Wheel. Ah. You know what? I, I kind of want to level up Gloom. Because I assume once ever it evolves into Vileplume, I'll get more moves. Wait, actually, let's just, like, look at what my potential Elite Four team is going to look like. And then we'll build a team for this gym after. Oh, 
Honestly, Mariana, I probably don't need. Because they only have Bite, Sand Attack, Crunch, and Scary Face, which I already have with Gyarados. Maybe we don't need Mightyena. Rock is strong against flying. Oh yeah, that's- yeah, I don't have any moves that are strong against flying right now on the team. Okay, so let's look at this potential Elite Four team. Blaziken has Fighting Fire Normal, Fully Psychic, Dragon, Dark and Water, Electric Normal. A moveset that I don't have right now is Ice on the team, but now that I know that Tri Attack can freeze, I can use that on if the Leader has dra has a dragon type. I'm not sure if electric works on dragons, though. Rock, ground, normal. Poison, grass. I have most of the m different move types on the team right now. I want to see... Is there no ice yet? Do I have an ice Pokemon? I don't have an ice Pokemon. Oh, I saw a seal, but I didn't catch one. That was it. Yeah, I don't think any of my Pokemon have ice moves now that I think about it. Uh-oh. Or maybe Goldie? Nope. Apparently Wobbuffet is huge. Wait, Destiny Bond? If the user faints, then the foes also faints. That's kind of huge. But I don't want him to die. Yeah, I don't think any of my Pokemon have ice moves. an ice move. I spent like 10 minutes thinking about this. This is way too long. I do think Vileplume could go kind of crazy because my guess is that maybe Vileplume has a restore type item. Because most of the grass Pokemon have like a restore or a leech seed. No spoilers, but that's my guess. Okay. So for this gym... Let's start building. I'm bringing all my high level as backup. Oh wait, we'll bring Vile Plume for the XP share. Okay, let's double check. Yawn. Ugh. 
That could also be good. Because then that's guaranteed they'll fall asleep. Because then the trainer will either have to swap the Pokemon out or use an awakening item. That could be huge. But it only has 10 PP. Okay, question for the Pokemon fans. Does Relicanth evolve? No? Okay. So then that means the moveset will not change. Like, dramatically. Like, it won't change types either. Relicanth might be kind of interesting. Hmm. I'm debating. Because guarantee putting Pokemon to sleep, I think, is better than, like, Gloom or Vile Gloom potentially poisoning or paralyzing. I think with my playstyle, a paralyze or a sleep is a lot better than a poison. But if I poison an opponent, then they'd have to use a heal or like a... an antidote. Because maybe... Maybe I can have Relicanth as an opener. Automatically do Yawn. And then I swap it out the next turn. So that it falls asleep on the second turn. That way, if the trainer chooses to swap out the falling asleep Pokemon, then it's fine if I swap out two on that turn. It feels very hacky if that does end up working, but... Yeah, it falls asleep the next turn. Stops the foe from moving with rocks and cuts speed. That can also be good. Takedown is dumb. Mm. Uh, Relic Camp could be good. Ugh. Okay. I'll do a poll. Now, you guys cannot spoil. Because, honestly, the six Pokemon on the team, I hopefully will not need. So, I'm only bringing the six Pokemon as, six Pokemon as, like, a, like, a potential status Pokemon that could do status damage. So, this is not final. This is only to get, like, an idea of what you guys think. So, should I level up Gloom? Or Relic. I don't know if I spelled Relicanth right. Okay, guys, go vote. Who do you think I should level up? Relicanth or Gloom? I genuinely don't know. Please vote, please vote. What level is Gloom? Um, they're both very low. Um, Relicanth is 33. And then Gloom is 28. They're both low. But let's pretend they're both, like, high level. Which is the better strat? Potentially poisoning and paralyzing? Or yawning and putting them to sleep? I think yawning is better, but, like, I don't know! I don't know! I don't know! Where's the poll? At the top of chat. I don't know. I think yawning could be huge. But so is paralyzing. Wait, but my my electric Pokemon can also paralyze. Gloom can also have sleep powder? That's what I thought too. But my Gloom hasn't unlocked it yet. But I assume once it levels up, it will. Oh wait, it does have sleep powder. <laughs> wait, Gloom is the better option. What am I doing? <laughs> I forgot. Wait, Gloom is huge. I forgot, I thought it was just Stun Spore, but it, it does have Sleep Powder. 
Because if if Gloom does hit it, it will fall asleep that turn. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay, Gloom is better. It's a good thing I asked. Okay, thank you guys for not spoiling it, like, right away. You know, I had to think it out first. Gloom is better. I, I do know that Vile Gloom is, like, goaded. Okay. So, Relicanth, you suck. Anyway, back to the party for this gym. Magneton as the leader. Manectric as our backup. Ralph, hopefully they don't die. Magikarp, my goat. Mariana, why not? And then we're gonna work on leveling up Gloom, that way we can bring Gloom potentially to the Elite, elite Four. Okay. Okay, now let's get everybody out of the- Hell yeah, brother. So, since we're going into the gym, we're gonna give all the XP to- Ta-da! And just to be safe, everybody's getting a berry. You never know what'll happen in war. Okay, I'm ready. Team Leader Magnus, Maddie, Ralph, in case they die, Magikarp, Mikey, and Gloom to level up. Everybody has a Citrus Berry, Gloom has the XP share. I think I'm ready. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I have hella Citrus, I have hella Lepa Berries. I don't have heals. I have 12 super potions, 6 max potions, 19 hyper, and 1 Okay, yeah, I'm good. My only concern is that Magnus has 116 max HP. It's lower compared to everybody else, but hopefully it should be fine, because if this is a water- Imagine it's not a water gym. Imagine. Pseudopolis City po Pseudopolis City Pokemon Gym Leader Juan. The gym leader with the beauty of pure water. Okay, you have to be a water chef gym. You have to. Okay, you guys know the drill? Prediction time. Will I lose any Pokemon this gym? Go Gamba. And get ready to spam. I was here when I beat this gym. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, I'm in. Yo, how's it going, champion bound Pison? Sutopolis' gym leader Juan is a master of water type Pokemon. And to get to Juan, an icy floor will hamper your progress. Listen, I'm sorry, but it's all the advice I have to give for you. The rest of the way, you have to go for yourself. Wait, he better not have ice type. Oh yeah, thank you, Wheel. I forgot I have to turn the overlay off. Thank you. Okay, I assume I can't step anywhere twice. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god, there's so many people. Okay, you know the rule, I gotta do all the battles. And so it begins. The sight of one conducting a battle? The very, beauty of, the very beauty of it compelled me to become a trainer. I really hope they don't have ice type. Oh no. Lady Daphne would like to battle. They sent out a love disc, level 39. Love disc is water. I'm so nervous all of a sudden. Oh my god. 
I should not be nervous. Lady Daphne is about to use Love Disc. Will I change? No. More like Love D's nuts! Ayo. Good one, Chatter. You defeated Lady Daphne. You battled with more beauty than I could muster. You got 7,000 energy bogo dollars for winning? Oh my goodness. I can battle with really rare Pokemon if you'd like. Uh, I'll bet you don't. I don't want that. Pokemon fan Annika would like to battle. They sent out a Feebas, level 39. Is that a shiny? Everything is going smoothly so far. Pokefan Annika is about to use Feebas. Will I change? Uh, no, sir. That's a funny Pokemon because you'll realistically never fight it. How did she get to then? She must be getting them from the black market. You defeated Pokefan Annika. Oh, there now. Did you have a good look at my Pokemon? You got 3,120 Poke Dollars for winning. I assume when you go on the ice, you fall. And it's best probably to just do it. Oh. You slide down. I'll show you the sublime techniques I learned from our leader, Juan. Las Andrea would like to battle. They sent out a love disc, level 40. How are they faster than me? There are only like four or five tiles in the game where it can be found? Bruh, that's crazy. I guess we're not getting a Feebas. You defeated Las Andrea. Please forgive me, Juan. You got 640 Poke Dollars for winning. I should teach you how harsh battles can be. Beauty Connie would like to battle. They sent it to Goldine level 40. Since I know the mechanic that I can fall through the ice and potentially get a double battle... No, I should probably still keep Manectric as the second party leader. Like, that's fine. Every time I do this gym's puzzle, it takes me forever. Don't worry, I'm speedrunning. Look at my timer. Ooh, go to level 29. You defeated Beauty Connie. Oh, you're strong. Oh my god, she's flitting. You got 3,200 Poké Dollars for winning. Speed running on your authentic GBA? Yeah, it's funny you bring that up. Of course it's real. Okay, my theory was correct. I cannot go up the ice. Maybe if I had my bike. I was wondering why there was a ladder here. What? It didn't open last time. Oh no. Okay, attempt number two. That was attempt number three. Okay, maybe it's the pattern in which, like, the direction you go. I'm gonna draw it. So, it was... Up. Right. 
up, right. Oh, what? What the fuck? Oh, maybe I have to break every single ice tile. Oh. Okay, let's see. I got it. So smart. Oh wait. <laughs> I'm gonna do this first try. Oh wait, I think I got it. Like actually. Well, the gym leader's right there, and a rule is I have to beat all the trainers. Dude, I did that first try. You guys are so bad. Once I knew how to solve the puzzle, I did it. Omega Dance, so bad. Okay, wait, there's six. I trained my Pokemon together with Juan. Don't think I'm a pushover. Beauty Olivia would like to battle. They have three Pokemon. They sent out a Clam Pearl level 35. Oh, we've faced your kind for the past, what, six hours in this room? Die. You guys made it seem like that ice puzzle was so difficult. Maybe it's my big brain coming in handy for once. Beauty Olivia is about to use Corfish. Corfish has... A steel type move, I think, like Iron Tail, or he grabs you, but I should be fine. We have yet to see a core fishing game, I think. Core fish core! Level 37, Thundershock. Beauty Olivia is about to use Lombre. Lombre is grass water, but it also has a dark type move. Electric might not work here. Also, high heart. Can we get some yos? Hello. You know what? It's probably better to switch to Magikarp. Because if I'm correct that Lombre is a water grass, I'm not sure if Electric would affect it. And I cannot bring in Ralph because Ralph, if it if it does use the dark move, it could kill me. Also, Magikarp has more HP, so Magikarp can just tank. Yeah, I think I'll switch to Magikarp here. Just to be safe. Because I'm not entirely sure if electricity will work.
Level 39. Oh, yeah, it also intimidate. Okay, I'm good. You know who is not doing too good right now? The non-subs. Because, guys, we're three hours in the stream, so it's time for you to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing. For $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all the time. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for your Prime. Click subscribe, see if you got a free sub available. Show your pride by subscribing for free with Prime. Also, cool, you're so lucky. You got a shiny after, what, three hours? I'll get one one day, surely. If I get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. Wait, like, resetting the whole game? That's crazy. <laughs> I could never do a shiny run, like, genuinely. It would be too much. Okay, Lombre has water, grass, and ghost-type moves. Dragon could work, but I think Bite is my strongest besides Surf. I'll do Bite. Fury Swipes is normal. Let's try Dragon Dance. Oh wait, that raises my attack. <laughs> I forgot! <laughs> I thought that was a move. A uh, twister! It's fine. Maggie carves a tank. A crit. That did about the same amount as. Uh oh. Uproar is annoying. But I'm a tank. You defeated Beauty Olivia. I was beaten! You got 3,120 Poké Dollars for winning. Okay, no double battle run. When I'm with my Pokémon, the time flies before you can say oops. Wait. Why are there girlies in this gym? What is Juan doing? Does he have a harem? Oh my god. This is a kid's game. Pokefan Bethany would like to battle. They have three Pokemon. Pokefan Bethany sent out an Azuril, level 35. I want an Azuril. So bad. We had to kill Mary. You know what? I'll kill you. Uh, the Azuril, sorry. You think bubbles will hurt me? <laughs> Dumbass bitch. Oh, it's an Oran Berry. That doesn't do shit. Sonic Boom. <laughs> you know, you would think a Pokefan would be better at battling. Pokefan Bethany is about to use a Meryl. Will I change? No. Oh, that probably means they have an Azumarill. Sag Mary. Yup. Poke fan Bethany is about to use an Azu Azumaru. Will I change? No. What if I try to catch it? Nah, I won't. It wouldn't be the real Mary. Ooh, grew to level 30. Let's go. You defeated Pokefan Bethany. Oops. You got 3,120 Poke Dollars for winning. Okay, things are going quite smoothly. Pokemon Gym of the highest level in the Hoenn region? That's the Sutopolis Gym. And you know what? I'm gonna destroy you. He's got so many hot babes in his gym. I don't know what to do with myself. Beauty Bridget would like to battle. They sent out an Azumarill, level 40.
Damn. Tanky. And it's paralyzed! Yup. You defeated Beauty Bridget. What a high level you are! You got 3,200 Poké Dollars for winning. Three left. <laughs> Your grin look is so charming. I'm not scared, look, I'm smiling. You're gonna be feeling pretty grim after this fight. Lady Brianna would like to battle. They sent out a Sea King level 40. Yo, you can stop! Seriously? Jackass. Okay, Fury attack is normal, so I'm fine. You defeated Lady Brianna. Oh dear, I went much too easy on you. No you didn't, you lost. You got 8,000 Poké Dollars for winning? I'm rich. Two left. A graceful glide across the ice while crossing no lines? A train of putting on that performance would be elegantly beautiful. Yeah, you missed it. It was upstairs. But you're just trapped in his dungeon? Wait, they're in his dungeon. Beauty Tiffany would like to battle. They sent out a Carvana, level 39. So physical attacks are not ideal, but Carvana is dark water? So Thundershock should still work. Oh, yes, sir. Beauty Tiffany is about to use Sharpedo. Will I change? No. It's not how we see a Sharpedo in game. It's a level 39. Okay. Uh-oh. My defense harshly fell. No! But you know what? It didn't matter! Magnus grew to level 46. Who grew to level 31. You defeated Beauty Tiffany. Well, excuse me. You got 3,120 Poké Dollars for winning. It's kinda wild. They made the first and second gym the most obvious type advantage. Like, first gym is ground, last gym is water. It's the opposite, oh my god. You came all the way here, but you won't get to see Juan. Not if you lose to me, you won't. <laughs> Little do you know. You're my last opponent before I face Juan. Last, Chrissy would like to battle. They sent out Goldine, level 39. Yeah, I'll just have to take a Lepa Berry before I fight one. Last Chrissy is about to use Whalmer. Will I change? No. Whalmer is... has normal... Well, they also have a ground-type move and then water. I should be fine, though. I'm surprised nobody has whipped out their, um... I forgot what it's called. The stupid electric little fish thing. Chimico. Nope, not- why am I saying Chimico? You know, I've repressed that Pokemon so much I cannot remember it. You defeated last Chrissy. You're strong. I was fooled by your cute looks. Oh my god, pride! <laughs> You got 624 Poké Dollars for winning. She could have tipped me more. She said it was cute. Okay, I've defeated all the trainers. Let's get back to Juan. Yup. Facile.
first try, y'all. Okay, let's review the party. Everybody still has their berries. Yeah, I need to give more PP to Thundershock, and then I think I'm ready. Also, thank you for the follow! Plus one! Thank you! Can we get some yo's? Yeah, I got so many lepa berries. You know what, just to be safe, I'll max out Magnus's HP. Okay. It is now time for Juan, the Sutopolis gym leader. 114 hours in. I'm ready. Ooh, I can walk around. His, his gym is honestly the prettiest. No wonder the girls like it so much. I do think the age gap is kind of sus. I'll talk to him this way. Let me ask you. Did you know? Ah, I should not be so coy. It was I who taught Wallace everything there is to know about Pokemon. Once I've given up my position as the gym leader, in my place, I have entrusted Wallace with the gym. However, a compelling reason arose for me to make a comeback. Ah, but enough chatter. Let us begin our match, shall we? Please. You shall bear witness to our artistry. A grand illusion of water sculpted by Pokemon, and myself. He's so artsy, I love him. Yo! Leader Juan would like to battle, they have five Pokemon. They sent out a love disc, level 41. I believe in you, thank you. Guys, type one if you believe. Thundershock. <laughs> you tried to kiss me! Ew! I was getting ready to cheer, what the fuck? I mean, what the frick? Sonic Boom. You're literally so annoying. At least you wasted a turn. I'm in love! Oh, I'm confused. <laughs> no! Leader Wan is about to use Whisk Cash. Will I change? No. If I'm confused, I'll just tank it. Oh, it's this guy. He's got a W on his head. W. I think I'm still confused. Yep. Come on, Magnus, push through. Yep! Yeah! So Wait, I'm flying. My Magnemite is literally flying. How the fuck does Earthquake work? So that means it's water ground. Earthquake does not affect Gyarados. So I'm like mad.
Yeah, my best bet is just Magikarp. Man! If they're water ground. Yeah, I'll probably bite is my best bet. Rain dance is fine. Maybe Twister? That did about the same. Bite is probably better because it could flinch. That's doing a good handful of damage, and I'm confused. Oh. I'm so mad about Magnemite. My assumption is that Whiskash's strongest move is Earthquake, but it doesn't affect me. I should not have to heal this turn. I'm gonna bite. Oh, I'm confused. Shit. Okay, I'm fine. I, I do have to heal this turn. I forgot I'm confused. It's so sad to see Magnus not moving. Yeah, I just gotta keep tanking until I'm healed. Or I'm no longer confused. Maybe Dragon Dance? Oh, but I still might hurt myself. I might as well try. Yeah. Man, I'm so disappointed. It is it's still like really frustrating cuz earthquake should not affect me. Cuz Magnemite or whatever he's called is flying. I know that it's like a, like a trait, whether if they can like float over the ground not or not, but it should not have hit me that hard. I'm no longer confused, we can now attack. I'm not confused, thank goodness. He might heal Wickash. I don't have any offensive moves that are strong enough. I'm not confused. I get to go first. Unless they heal? I go first, okay. This is fine. Leader 1 is about to use Celio. Celio is water ice. Will I change? Yes. Manectric is just electric, so they should be fine. If all else fails, we'll put in Ralph. Man, this... 
It's fine. It, I'm, I'm really, really devastated. Because I did not think Magnus would die that easily. It should not have. But what would make it weak to ground? Electric! I forgot. Okay, level 43, Celio. Thunder does a lot more damage, but the accuracy is lower. I'm probably better doing Spark off the jump. That way I can potentially paralyze, because I need 100% hit rate for this first shot. Okay, that did good. And it's paralyzed, I was right. Um... Ride! <laughs> okay, I'm good! Quick attack, die, 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 die! I don't want to fuck around no more. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, go to level 32. Leader 1 is about to use Crawdent. What the fuck is that? Maybe the evolve form of... I forgot what it's called, but the crab guy. Will I change? Yes? You know what? I really want to use Manny, but I think... I assume Crawdent- oh, Craw- Crawfish? Crawfish! <laughs> Corfish! That's his name. I, I assume it's the Evolve from a Corfish. And they might have a dark type move? Wait, no, no. I don't- I've only seen the anime, okay? I don't know Pokemon. You know what? Magikarp is tanky. We need to see what type of moves it has first. That's so bad that Magnus died! Uh! Magikarp is in. Yeah, it is the evolved form. Hypercutter prevented Magikarp's intimidate from working. That's an L. You know what? Should I heal? I'm gonna heal first. I wanna see what type of moves he does first. Leer. Lowered my defense, that's fine. Not effective. What is strong against dark? Ghost? No. No. Wait, Doc is strong against Ghost. What's not... What's strong against... Is it fighting? No. It's not fighting! It cannot! He doesn't have... He doesn't have fists on! It can't be fighting. Ain't no way. This could be a Ralph angle. Wait, no way! Ain't no way! No way! You know what? Magikarp has full health, so does Ralph. I'll put Ralph in. It can't be fighting. Hypercutter. You use Leer again, you're stupid. You're stupid. Let's try this. It doesn't affect it. Oh wait, maybe it is dark. <laughs> wait, maybe it is a dark type. Wait, wait. <laughs> That's why the dark type didn't work on him, because he's also dark. <laughs> um. 
Magikarp is back in. <laughs> Okay, bye, Wheel. Why does it keep leering? You're so bad. Twister does a little bit more, and it caused flinch. I'll keep doing Twister for now. I do want to have a turn to heal Manectric. Taunt? I fell for the taunt? What does that mean? It flinched. Crab hammer, but you missed? Okay, this crawdad sucks. Fight because I'm faster. Omega dense. Oh, uh, you know what? I should have healed during that turn. flinched again. Okay, I think I'm going to heal Manectric. There we go. That way if we need him for the final Pokemon, he's ready to go. Crab Hammer is not effective. That's gotta be a water type move. Okay, we're fine. Prodent hasn't pulled out any crazy moves yet. Even if it's not effective, it still does a decent amount of damage. What does taunt mean? Die. Okay, I'm gonna heal, because he might use heal himself. It didn't, surprisingly. There we go. Brought in fainted. Leader One is about to use Kingdra. Will I change? Yes. Let's see what I got. Kingdra has. Poison and water type, but also has dragon type moves. Manny might be good. Magikarp is the safe choice, though. I'll go with Manny. Let's have him do a fight. And if I can paralyze in the first hit, it'll be good. 46. Ooh, spark. Come on, paralyze me, please. I need this. Double team to raise evasiveness? That doesn't matter. It missed. It went to sleep? Well, that's kind of a crazy strat. Chesto buried. Wait, that's wild. Okay. Spark again. Double team again? Bro. It's not in my interest to try Thunder Dun. Come on, give me a paralysis, please. Ice Beam? Monko. It only uses the berry when it's half HP or less. If I get hit with another ice beam, I'm dead. I'm gonna heal. Okay, it's going to sleep, but it's not gonna wake up because it does not have another berry. Yeah, okay. Now I can try thunder. That was good. 
It's still asleep. This is such a bad strat, man. Why'd you go to sleep again? Thunder again? Because why not? There we go. You defeated Leader Juan. <laughs> Excellent. Very well. You are the winner. For you, I sense the brilliant shine of skill that will overcome all. However, compared with me, you're even Wallace. You're lacking in elegance. Okay, sure, I don't have a lot of strat. Perhaps I can make a loan on my outfit. As long as you're not naked when you give it to me, sir. <laughs> I merely jest. Rather than my clothes, I shall reward you with this, the Rain Badge. You got 4,600 Poke Dollies for winning. You received the Rain Badge from Wong. Having the Rain Badge shall assure you the full obedience of all your Pokemon to your every command. The Rain Badge also allows the use of the HM Move Waterfall to scale walls of cascading water. And so, that you never forget this battle we shared, take this. You obtain the TM-03. The technical machine I handed you contains water pulse. In use, it will occasionally confuse the target with ultrasonic waves. That's kind of crazy. The ultrasonic did cook us a little bit. Maybe I'll give it to Gyarados. Well, there we go. That was the 8th gym. Finally! Wallace is on the board. I mean, Juan. Look at that! The 8th gym finally beaten after so long. But we did take a loss today, so that is actually really sad. Did I lose a Pokemon? Yes, I did. Man, if I would have known that, known that Wishcash is ground water, I would have been fine. I would have swapped out immediately, but I didn't know. It's, it's because usually when I see a Pokemon in game, I'll remember the type. But I haven't seen a Wishcash in game yet. I got cooked. Man, it's fine. As long as I didn't lose both my Electro Pokemon, it's okay. But I do hope Manectric learns a different move. Okay. You guys know the drill. We heal our Pokemon and then we let them go. Magneton doesn't levitate? I know, it's so silly. He's literally flying. It's so stupid. Sorry, I'm getting mad. It's so dumb. Okay. Wait, let me take that. No, we'll, I don't need the berry. It's fine. Well, Magneton, I only used you for one gym. You defeated a good handful of trainers in that gym, but unfortunately you got taken out by a Whiskash, which we didn't know. Ground would be effective because I thought you could fly, but I guess it's all of a facade. So everybody, Psy27 Magnus, you fought well, you fought valiantly. I was going to bring you to the end, but somebody will take your place, and that's just how it goes. Goodbye, soldier. Bye-bye, Magnus! It's so devastating to see your Pokemon get taken out in one hit. Like, even the gym Pokemon of the gym leaders, your super effective moves don't take them out. It could be because since I have to keep the first Pokemon that I catch, it's not like I can grind for glooms and get a really strong gloom. So it's probably I'm just getting unlucky with certain Pokemon of them just having, like, weak RNG. But you know what? It's been a while since we've had to release a Pokemon. We're at 13, actually, because I got, forgot to add to the counter earlier. Man, Magnus, unlucky number 13. Man, it's okay. I was so excited for this gym. I was like, I know what I'm doing. But I lost a Pokemon. You know what? It's okay, though. Because now we can truly get ready for the endgame. <coughs> Bless me. Also, guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, smack that follow button. We've already gotten one follower today. Can we get another? Okay. I gotta cross Magnus off my list. 
God damn it. This is so sad. Magneton. No. Where even is it? Oh yeah, Magnemite, I evolved it. I also gotta find my red pen. Oh, well, it's on the floor. So! How are you guys doing, huh? <laughs> Can you guys believe it? The peace lock is almost over. Yeah, I, I legit can't find Magnemite. Oh wait, I found it! Magnus! Shit, it died. Okay, 6 13 faint gym. Wait, Magnus, Pokemon number 13 release died on June 13th. Classic. Okay. Kuma City say I hate Pokemon. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Oh yeah, I said I need my party to have all my high-level Pokemon right now, because we might run into our rival. Hope all, all hope all goes well with the Elite Four. I'm scared. I'm so scared. That wand fight, I think, was the most, like, strategical fight I had to do. And with the Elite Four, it's gonna be a doozy. But you know what? I will persevere. Magikarp is going to be our party leader because Magikarp is our goat. Will Magikarp be party leader? Gardevoir is our second. Blaziken is there. Gloom. We might bring Gloom to the end. Manectric is my highest level electric. And... Let's see what moves they have. They have a Spark, Quick Attack, Thunder, and Bite. Yeah, we'll go with this. This is probably gonna be our Elite 14. I might rethink it over depending on what faces ahead. If we lose any more soldiers. But this is going to be my team. I'm honestly still sad about Magnus. But Manectric is probably better, because Manectric has, I think, a higher base power point than Magnus did. I did kind of want to bring a Ghost type to the Elite Four. Oh wait, I don't want to bring Mightyena, actually. Who were we going to bring instead of Mightyena? Maybe Graveler? I started this game last week and I passed you already. Shut the fuck up, Ethan. Hi, man. Can we get some yos? Are you playing the game like normally or Nuzlocke? There's a huge, there's a huge difference, my guy. You know what? Bringing a, a ghost type could be huge. A ghost type could be huge. I don't know yet, though. Because I'll be honest, Mighty Anna kind of lame, because Gyarados already has Intimidate. Let's see. Gyarados, Gardevoir, Dusclops, Manectric, Blaziken, and Vileplume whenever Gloom evolves. This could be good. Can I backseat? Sure, as long as it doesn't spoil. Like, I don't want to know the types of the gym leaders. Or the Elite Four, sorry. I'm not sure. I'm pretty confident, obviously, about Magikarp, Gardevoir, and then Blaziken. Manectric is probably good, but they only have normal electric. 
evolve the spider? The spider? What? The spider? What? Oh yeah, I'm not going to the Elite Four right now. I'm not. I'm not that stupid. <laughs> Does okay, what's the spider? You evolved it already? What's the spider? I don't like being baited. You're gonna lose your VIP badge, you know, if you behave this way. The spider? Oh, ninjas? Oh, yeah. It's bug, though. Wait, leech life is kind of huge. Is that too maybe? But Zatu is just psychic flying. Flying is strong against fighting, but then I- Cause like, with my party style, I like to have as many different movesets as I can, right? So, we'll, we'll still like- we have a, lot, a bit of time to think about who I want to be my final party. But Gyarados has Bite- or sorry, Dark Dragon Water, Psychic, Ghost Fire goes dark. Electric normal dark. Fight fire normal fight. Poison grass. So like the only moveset that I don't have is ice, bug, ground. I don't have a ground type actually. Because if I run into a ghost type, all I have to use is a dark type move, so I, maybe I don't need the ghost type. What is ghost strong against? Normal. Yeah, bug sucks. Ice is ite, but if I have a- if they have like a dragon type. I don't know! Wait, I just realized I don't have any flying type Pokemon. You know what I need? I need a flying ground, which I don't think that's like a thing. Yeah, I don't have any flying. I got Pelipper! Oh. It's just missed. I got so excited. Yeah, flying is strong against, the uh, fighting. But then I have Psychic! Gligar and Gliscor are flying ground? Wait, do I have one? I don't think... I don't think I have those. Yeah, I don't. Ice is great against dragon? Yes, sir. I'm convinced that one of the Elite Four has to have a dragon type. That's like classic cliche. But I don't have any Pokemon that have ice type. Okay, well, either way, I need to get my party, like, uh, assembled. Oh, wait, I need to bring Whale Lord, because we gotta dive anyway, so we'll think about this later. <laughs> we'll think about this later. I don't know. Okay, well, let's just get out of here. Now? 
I'm gonna make my way to Evergrande City. But first, we need to teach somebody how to scale the waterfall. Wait, I have a TM. I forgot. Maybe, may oh wait, I did say I wanna wait to use my TMs till the Elite Four. So now we can actually like manipulate our Pokemon. Waterfall. Yeah, the only Pokemon is Lord. Oh, Lord already has Water Pulse. That's kind of crazy. Astonish may cause flinching, so I'll keep that. I think Water Whirlpool is dumb. I'll swap it. Look at my new emote. Is it yours? Lord has a waterfall. Okay. On to Evergrande City, everyone. We can also change our pin chat. See pin. Yeah, don't ever click go live. It's not worth it. The clown ain't it. The clown. The clout ain't it. Let's see. Getting ready for the elite four. Okay, new pin chat. I've defeated the 8th gym. Now we can actually get to gaming. Wait, did I say the city name? What is it called? Evergrande... Is it Grande or Grand? How about Happily Ever After? I just say it funny you said it right? Oh, okay. I got scared. I don't want to, like, get in trouble. On to the city! Ariana Grande City? <laughs> yeah. Well, where the hell am I? Okay, I just gotta go to the far right. Hell yeah, brother. Why don't you just fly there? Because I've never been to the city. Because I only just unlocked a waterfall. But I assume you know that. You're just saying that to, like, be annoying. Bam again. Or maybe you're Kalulis! Uh oh. But the city is red? Wait, can I fly there? I don't have any Pokemon that can fly. I'm running. Tentacle is not cool. I went right to the edge of the waterfall. So, like, I haven't gone to the city. Not yet, I haven't. Well, I'm right there. Hell yeah, brother. I fought all these people already. The moment we've all been waiting for. Evergrins. moment we've all been waiting for. Evergrande say. <laughs> it's a large waterfall. It's a large waterfall. Would you like to use waterfall? Yes, sir. Wow. 
Our rival is going to be right here, ain't it? Oh, the flowers are so cute. Evergrande City. The paradise of flowers, the sea, and Pokemon. Man, I want to live here. Oh. Guys, screenshot. I don't need Pokemon Center yet. Oh wait, I don't need Lord. I'll swap Lord out, actually. Why are you a girl? Dude, it's Pride Month. You can't be asking people that. They're gonna think you're not woke. Isn't Mudkip water ground? I have no clue what my rival's Pokemon are besides Mudkip. I don't even sleep because I'm so woke. Good for you, man. If we run into our rival, we have Gyarados, Gardevoir, Manectric, Blaziken, Gloom for XP share, and then Mightyena. I really hope I don't run into him, but I surely will. Let's talk to the people here. Scott. Peace, and you've clawed your way up to face the Pokemon League. I'm happy for you. You made me... I'm happy for you. you made my cheering worthwhile. Peason, if you were to become the Pokemon League champion, I'll get in touch with you then. Okay, Peason. Go for greatness! Guys, I think I have a grocery stalker. Oh, the long and harrowing victory road. It's like reliving the path one has traveled in life. Believe in your Pokemon and give it your best. The Pokemon League is only a short distance after the victory road. If you've come this far, what choice do you have but to keep going? Wait, it's a- Are there battles before the Elite Four? No! I'm so scared. Entering Victory Road. Wait, no, uh, oh no, I don't want to. I thought it would be a city. Every time I play a Pokemon game, I have to use a walkthrough for the victory road. Okay, wait, 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 gamers, Pokemon fans. If I go in, can I come out? What? <laughs> no, what the? What do I do? Yes? Okay. I'm scared. Get an escape rope? I think I have a lot. Wait, maybe I put them in my storage? I'm scared. Oh yeah, I have 14. Okay, okay, okay. I'm scared. You know what? I need to face my fears. I'm going in. Victory Road. Oh, I'm so scared. There's encounters too? Zubat level 36. Oh, so you can probably level here as well. Okay, so for the Elite Four, the highest level Pokemon they have is 58. Um, surf, why not? I'm putting my hair up. I'm so scared. Rip bag, you're gonna mods ban Ethan. I don't want any negative energy in my chat room. Oh my god, I'm so scared. <laughs> I hate Pokemon. 138 XP. Okay. 
Oh, I'm so scared. Can I just hide under the bridge? Nobody will see me now, right? Okay, I guess we gotta change the chat to Victory Road question mark. Victory Road? Oh, I'm so scared. Okay. I'm gonna face my fear. Why is- there's like nobody here. Do I have a Hariyama? I don't think I have one! I'm checking my list. I'm checking it twice. None of you fuckers better gift if I do catch Hariyama. I have a Makuhita. I don't think I would use a Harayama, but I, I want to catch him. Oh, I should have bought heels too, I forgot. Oopsie. Yeah, I don't have a Harayama. Oh, you know if you caught a Pokemon because there's a Pokemon next to the name. Omega lol. <laughs> well, I checked my list and I checked it twice. Okay. Magikarp is water. So the fighting move should be fine. But dark is weak. I don't want to kill Hariyama. Let's drown him. Okay, I didn't- I didn't need him anyway. I'm giving all my Pokemon berries. I don't give a fuck. They're all getting berries. I'm so scared, guys. I don't know what to do. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so scared. Why is there- there's no people? I already have one of you. I'm so scared. Okay, I'm not- I don't want to see that in my chat room. It's a song. <laughs> I'm running away. I'm scared. You know who else is gonna swing, sing their swan song? The non-subs. Because guys, we're four hours into stream, so you know what? It's time for me to run some more ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Show your pride by subscribing with Prime. Also, if you're new and you're lurking, um, click the follow button. It's free. Wild to think it's been four hours already. Let's see, it's 1.30. So I can probably stream for like another hour or two. I don't want to push myself too much today. Oh, I need to have more on my snack. I only took one bite earlier. Omega lol. Yeah, I know I need to work on leveling in this area because they are the highest level Pokemon I've seen. They probably have the most HP, but... I've decided if I ever get confused and it's a battle that I can run away from, I'm just running. I'm not wasting, like, HP by hitting myself. Oh. I got my snack. We'll back in. Surely I won't die. Okay, is this just a maze? 
Thank you, Drew. I'm not gonna beat the game today, so don't worry. It'll be next time, but thanks for watching. Oh, there is people here! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! You know what? Let's get him. After the battle. A A Ron. I think Steak Steak. I think Steel is weak against fire. They won't battle you, they'll give you a gift. I think you're lying. I'm not even kidding. If you're lying, I will ban you. I'm not even kidding. Dark does not affect steel. Water is super effective? No, it's not. It's not. No, is it? No, it's not. It's not. No, it's not. You know what? If you're lying, you're in big trouble. Oh, wait, it is. What the fuck? <laughs> I, th wait, I thought fire was effective. Wait, is fire and water? I don't know. Steel is so weird. You know, in real life, you can, like, use water to, like, etch designs and then fire, like, melt steel. Wait, maybe it's weak to both. Okay, please don't hurt me, sir. I didn't come all this way to lose now. That possibility doesn't exist. Okay, where... Where's his gift? Cool Trainer Albert would like to battle. They sent out a Magneton. Level 43. Oh! Um. Um. Magneton is steel. Electric. Water is weak. Yeah, I was gonna say fire will work. Blaziken's my tanky. I could do Manny, but the electricity would still hurt me. Yeah, Blaziken is my safest bet here. I'm paralyzed. Oh wait, fighting was strong against Magneton, I remember. Lock on! Ooh. Okay, that was scary. Grew to level 33. Cool Trader Albert is about to use Muck. Muck is poison. Psychic is effective against poison! I think Blaziken has one. He has Blaze Kick, I think. Ralph traced Muck's stench. <laughs> oh, did you know that Ekans is snake backwards? That's like the first fun fact you hear about Pokemon ever. Watch this. Yes! I'm so good at Pokemon. You defeated Cool Trainer Albert. Impossible. I lost. You got 2,064 Poké Dollars for winning. Okay, Ethan, you lied to me. You said I would get a little treat when I battled them. You know what? You're in big trouble. How do I time you out? There you go. You're banned. I would never lie. I 
I should probably unparalyze Blaziken. <laughs> you know what, Ethan? If you wanted to commit to the bit, you should just, like, not chat the rest of the stream. But now, like, now people know that I didn't actually ban you. You're gonna make me a suspicious viewer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are pretty sus. Okay, back to it. Oh, that's just a... a loop. I should probably try and beat all the trainers here. Oop. Did you know there's a Pokemon called Amoogus? Isn't it the mushroom thing? I don't like shiitake mushrooms. Or psychedelics. You're gonna need Flash, by the way? Oh. You're gonna need all the HMs? Oh, that's not good. Either way, I can always go back, it's fine. Right now, I just want to see as much as I can. Makuhita. I just have to make sure my Lainun learns everything then. Smelling salt. Yeah, fake out only works on the first turn, silly. Easy. I'm kinda I'm getting kinda nervous in this area. I don't know what to expect. It seems like the same Pokemon we saw in the other cave though. So ground and fighting and dark. Get a max repel, but I want to fight the Pokemon. I need to get all my Pokemon to level 58 anyway, so I might get a repel later, but I don't know. I think I'm going to switch Ralph to the party leader in this area. And then I'll swap to Magikarp if I get a Zubat. I wonder what type Smelling Salt is. Maybe a normal type? Yeah, I should probably swap out Mikey for a different Pokemon. We'll do that later when I see a bit more of the Victory Road. Your Zubat. Or maybe I should just run when I see a Zubat. That could also work. Okay, well I'm for sure gonna run away from this silly little Zubat. Oh, that's a double battle down there. Pokeball, yay! Maku, or sorry, Hariyama. Now, Ralph, we have yet to catch a Hariyama. If you want to kill it, you can, but I would say don't.
Ralph had mercy today. No! Well, I want to catch it! You found one max elixir. Okay, well, I looped back around. I looped back around. Another one. DJ Colin. Now, this is my third Horiyama I've run into. I assume... It's just gonna whirlwind. So, you know what? Pokeball. Imagine. Ultra Ball! Hey, yo! Hariyama was caught. Hariyama, arm thrust Pokemon. It has the habit of challenging others without hesitation to test of strength. It's been known to stand on train tracks and stop trains using forearm thrusts. Hey, yo. Okay, Hariyama. What should we name? Hariyama. Uh. Yama. Pajama. <laughs> pajama. You know, Yama, Jama? Jama. Pajama. Pajama, cause like when you when you say the ja in Spanish, it sounds like ja, like kind of like the ya ja sound, like ja ja ja. It, it kind of sounds like a y instead of a j. <laughs> okay, six slash thirteen. Hariyama. Pajama. Or is it pajama, not pajama? I think I spelled pajama wrong. How do you wait? How do you spell pajama? I'm clueless. Pajama? Oh, it is with an A. Why was. Wait, no. Is it with an A or an I? Wait, everybody's- there's a Y-A-I? You know what? Since- Since it goes hot eat with an I, I'll do P-I-J. Everybody, welcome pajama to the team. Jama. Hmm. Do I have a Loudred? Loudred is normal fairy, but there's no fairy. It's not canon yet. I don't think I have a Loudred. I'm checking my. Oh, yeah, it's on the screen. I do not have a Loudred. Confusion. Great ball. Come on. Loudrin was caught. I didn't think I was going to be able to catch more Pokemon. Loudred, big voice Pokemon. It positions the round speakers on its head to assail foes with ultrasonic waves and massive volume. It builds power by stomping the ground. Plus one. Okay, Loudred. Lau. Lau. Jer. And. Lau. Lawowski. Dread. It sounds like Drew, but I don't want to say Drew. We don't want to confuse the chatters. Dredge. Maybe Dredge? I kind of like that. Like the game. That I probably will never play. Oh, 
Or maybe Dread, because you Dread Loud Dread. I like that, actually. Everybody, welcome Dread to the team! I probably need to go to the Poké Center soon. I mean, look! I wasn't planning on escaping anyway. There's so many encounters. A Lyron. Now, I caught an Aaron. So it's legal to catch another Lyron. Psychic works. I'm gonna switch to Magikarp because Ralph is low HP. I forgot to heal Ralph. Lyra's attack is lowered. You know what? I'll just go straight for a Pokeball. Why not? I'll try it. Okay. I know water will kill it, so I will try bite. Not effective. But it flinched. Oh, a crit! You're so silly. Another Ultra Ball. I'm just using Ultra Balls from this point on. Unless they're like red HP. What the hell? Don't kill him. Thank you. We got a line run. Oh, we already saw the Pokedex entry, but this is this is a legal catch because I did not encounter Laron in the wild. Uh, let's name him Larry. You know, simple, but it works. Everybody, welcome Larry the Laron to the team. Man, three new Pokemon already. I think if I just see a Zubat, I'm gonna run away. It's not worth my time. Mm. 
My goodness, there's so many encounters. Now I see why you told me to get a max repel. Back to the flowers in the sun. I'm gonna heal real quick. I should probably go and buy items as well. Let's see. I don't need Mikey in the party at all. I should probably get a different Pokemon that has a more reversed on moveset than Mikey. Miss now, none of my other Pokemon are high enough level. Let's actually look at our Hariyama. They have no fighting moves. Whirlwind, knockoff. Smelling salt is normal. Powerful against paralyzed foes, but also heals them. Belly drum. Okay, this Hariyama kind of bad. I don't really know who to swap in for. Let's see what Loudred has. Howl. Supersonic. Stomp. And Screech. Kind of bad. Dust gloves. Mainly because if we're going into potential trainer battles, I need to have a versatile team at least. And Dust Clops is my only other higher level Pokemon. Yeah, I'm gonna need to bring Linoon anyway. Yeah, we don't need Dusclops yet. Teach line noon cut. Oh, they already have cut. They need to learn flash. That was it. Oh, wait, they don't. Shoot. 
Wait, what does Flash do? Lewis is a powerful blast of light that reduces accuracy. The problem is, you can't unlearn it. Who did I give? I think I gave Flash to Lotad. But then Lotad died. Maybe I don't need Flash? I don't want to teach it to any of my Pokemon, though. Yeah, I don't... Someone will have to learn Flash, but that's a... That's something I'll have to figure out for another day. And you know what? Talking about another day, I think I'm gonna pause here for now. We got four hours in. I beat the eighth gym. Now it's time for Victory Road. I need to strategize a little bit. I'm gonna ponder on this. So we will finish this next time on the Peace Lock. To review... I lost two Pokemon today. One was Chat's doing. You guys made me kill my Bennett. And then I also lost my Magneton to a stupid Whiskas because I didn't know Magneton would be affected by Earthquake, even though it can levitate. So silly. So next time, we will work on Victory Road. And then maybe getting ready for the Elite Four. I, don't, I have no idea what to expect. So, thank you for watching. Man, I'm so nervous. I'm so oh, I need to save my game. Oh my god. I almost closed it without saving it. Imagine. Wait, but if I did that, then I can get my Magneton back. Just kidding, the game is saved. I would never scam like that. There we go. That was day 19 of the Peace Lock, everybody. I know I'm ending a bit early, but I kind of want to rest a little bit. I got very tired. So... We're gonna do calligraphy because we did get a good handful of gifted subs today. Like, what the fuck? So, if you want me to write your name, all you must do is subscribe or use your channel points. Do so now, please. Let's do more Mario Wonder music. Sorry, that was really loud. For some reason, the music in this comp is really soft. L Editor. As I get the camera set up, if you guys politely could, make sure you check out my website. It's peaceandart.myshopify.com. Use code TWITCH10 for $10 off your purchase today. New pieces will be coming out soon, so at least if you can afford to buy something, that's fine. Just bookmark the website. And if you have a Shopify account, save my shop. That helps me in the algo. Okay, we're gonna make that the pin chat, actually. Guys, click the link. Today's stream is brought to you by peaceandart.myshopify.com. Check it out today. I was not sponsored to say that. It is my company.
You can also use a different comp. It's kind of annoying how the music is so soft. It's not, it should sound normal to you guys, but it's annoying for me. There we go. Oh my god, there's two of me. I still gotta finish my granola bar. I don't know, I can't eat these in one sitting. It's like too much almost. Once again, thank you, Alex, for the six-month resub, new Sprout badge in chat, and also for the gifted to the chat room, helping kill my Bennett. Thank you, Alex. Dude, PSI 2 Gold is so good. I'm working on my new animated emotes. Hopefully, they'll be done by end of the month. I'm stalling on them because, like, I want to work on other projects, but... They're gonna look so good. Oh my god, the Scottish song.
And you know what? Even though Chip didn't have alerts, I'll still write Chip's name. Chip. Because... You know how when you open the stream, and if you're like a tier 1, or if you sub with Prime, a little pop-up box will come up? If you don't type a message, then the alert doesn't play. But... Where's my pencil? Was across the room. Okay, I know it looks yellow, but I promise it's green. I forgot to say it verbally, but... Thank you, Electra, for the two gifted earlier. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. But also, fuck you for killing the Pokemon. I know you're lurking. No, I don't know. <laughs> that looks wild. I promise it's green. I promise. Once again, thank you, Chip, for the eight-month resub. Thank you. So close to a flower badge, actually. Okay, do you have anybody else who wants the name written? Use your channel points right now. Also, no raid, nobody's lying. Okay. I'm gonna wrap here for today. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Any giant zerkers? I hope you had fun. Day 19 of the Peace Lock? My guess will beat it by day 21. Because I'm probably going to do like hours and hours of leveling. We'll see how far we get. But yeah. The plan is simple. I'm free this weekend, so I'm either going to stream tomorrow, Friday, or Saturday with new meta on the channel. Beating every single Papa's game before summer break ends. That plan is simple. So look forward to that. Um, before I go, make sure if you aren't already, you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, Weekly Stream Highlights on Saturdays. If you miss a stream, there'll probably be an edit that comes out. Make sure you're subscribed to the, to, to the main channel and the Clips channel for more PC content. If you want something to watch right now, most recent YouTube video, How Gay Am I? Click the link, go watch it now. And I've been preaching and preaching, but guys, today's stream is brought to you by peaceandart.myshopify.com. My art website! Ain't no way. New pieces coming soon. At least bookmark it, please. Please. And if you have a Shopify account, save this shop to your favorites. Yeah, that is all. Seriously, thank you for watching. I hope you guys had fun today. Okay, goodbye. I can't believe I killed a Pokemon today. That's so sad. You know what? It, it happens. Do, do, do. That means 13 Pokemon lost this run. Man. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Yeah, I don't know what time streams will start whenever I do the Papa's games. They might start earlier. Because we have a lot to get through. Every game is 10 hours long.
Okay, no stalling. I wanna go rest. Any last words from the chat room? Okay, bye guys, I'll see you later.